Hello, everybody. We are live. I'm Larise. This is Justin. And we're talking Hi. about Evil, Season 3, Episode 6, The Demon of the Algorithm. The, this, the pop-up book in this episode was decent, is the first thing I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought I'd heard you say that. <laughs> it it was it play it had an extra special place in my heart because it made fun of TikTok. Yes, yes. And I you normally don't it. see you normally don't you normally don't see uh, that in in media now, nowadays making fun of social media conglomerates. Yeah, well, you'll you'll hear it like mentioned here and there and kind of like clowning on it, but you don't usually do like a whole episode about it. Which I thought was interesting. I mean, they're, yeah, they really took TikTok and they made a whole episode. Hey, Vera Morris. She's here to hear your, our thoughts. Oh, I have so many thoughts. I, this might be my favorite episode yet. Uh, I, I'm i torn, honestly. Um, they've had a couple of really good ones. They've hit the ball out of the park so many times. And it's hard. I agree. For me. It's hard for me to differentiate between which one I like more. Yeah. Yeah, they've had they've been really spot on with everything this season. Mm -hmm. I feel like there hasn't been any milk toast, as you would say. I, there hasn't been any milk. <laughs> Everything's been for uh, a very specific purpose. I, and I have to say, this one actually scared me to some extent. Oh, did it? Anything specific? It Any did. Specific um... When they were showing the the VidTap video of the girl eating the glass and saying the the um, the demonic phrase, like I, I had to pause it for a minute <laughs> because well, I, I got goosebumps. Oh well, you know what's interesting is I see TikTok like this all the time, and they're not meant to be real they're meant to just be like a horror genre tiktok tiktok has a great horror genre like they have their little niche of point of view well although the point of view videos get really really dark some of them are mm -hmm. beyond messed up dark um to the point where they need to be they get pulled they started pulling them because they were so messed up their whole point of view the whole point of view is like this is the situation you're a serial killer and i'm your victim and it just mm -hmm. think of all the things they can do with that. You know what I'm saying? Or I'm mm -hmm. a serial killer and you're in like, there's like you want to one in the camera. So it like becomes a story about you and you're watching and they bring you into their story. Yeah. So, and then they play a certain character and sometimes it's just, it's very, it's very disturbing. It's a very, very, um, a creepy, it's creepy. I, that's what it's, it's intended to do, but yeah. And, this was the first time that I this was the first time that I actually heard of something called sugar glass. I I had no idea that that existed. Uh, did and I, I googled it. Me did yeah, I did too. I did too. You can, too. Buy, it for, like, you can buy it for like 15 bucks, yeah. You found a place I was like where can I buy this? I want some. <laughs> <laughs> Hello Mr. Beckham. <laughs> We, I, I really want some of that, that, that sugar glass. Like I thought that, I thought that'd be a really fun trick to play in someone, mm -hmm. you know, just to, but just to walk in and start eating it. Yeah, be and like, go, oh my God, like, ah! like it's sugar. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't keep them on the hook for too long. <laughs> just to like be like, hey, I what's would. Up? Drink, my, drink my thing. And then all of a sudden people are like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, send me the link. Oh, I'm gonna. Okay. I want to. I want to get the sugar glass. Definitely want to get. I, I mean, right. it probably tastes good too. Oh, it it would have to. It's made of sugar, right? I mean, it's candy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I I, I thought that was great, but um, can you actually can you actually drink things from the sugar glass though? That's what I want to know. It might melt or something. <laughs> I don't know what it's made ah. of. If it's basically just right, candy well. in the shape of a, a glass. It might okay, melt well, down. I, I want to eat some now. You yeah. probably have to drink it really fast so it doesn't melt down. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, I, I do see it all that. I also see, I, I sent you a little bit about the J Station videos. There are like creators that are like that, that have been like outed as doing like fake paranormal stuff. A lot of the ghost hunters mm -hmm. on YouTube and TikTok, they're just full of crap, you know, and they make stuff oh, yeah. up. Like they pretend, they pretend something's haunted. 
because I tried doing a few ghost hunting videos myself and like I couldn't find anything haunted. <laughs> like nothing happened for me. And I was like, how are these people finding stuff in every video? And the, the truth is that it, they're fake. <laughs> they're fake. They're pretending to be haunted. They fake everything. So and this is I, very typical. I loved Ben in this episode. Ben was went above and beyond uh, proving that things were fake and just trying to help people and trying to save, you know, trying to save as many people as he could from doing these stupid things. Yes. And when I saw, well, we'll get all, all into that. When I saw him upload the video, I was like, oh no, he's going to get banned. <laughs> I was like, as soon as he <laughs> uploaded the video, as soon as you debunk something, people just go crazy and they flag bomb your videos and they don't like you because you're calling them out, especially if they're like a really popular creator. And if you call mm -hmm. them out, well, the the next best thing to actually creating like a big following or whatever, a big like a big uh, hype is to actually call out someone that's that's really popular that's building on that. So the next best thing to actually following someone that's the creator that's the hype creator. Sorry, my cat just jumped. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is uh is be like basically being a call out creator. They're so popular, the call-out videos. But then that becomes its whole niche and it starts to take on its own ugly form because that's all they mm -hmm. people thrive on. Like, they're constantly looking for people to call out and sometimes they call out unnecessarily. So then it becomes a little and crazy. To be to be honest, you're the you're the first person I thought of because when I'm watching the episode and you're the only moderately famous TikToker I know. Oh, so really? I immediately... <laughs> Yeah, so I thought of you. I went, Larice would never do this stuff. Well, you see some weird stuff on TikTok, and there's some stuff that stays up there that's completely inappropriate, and then other stuff doesn't, which is something I never understood about the app. It's very weird. Mm -hmm. And, like, I've had my account banned twice for no reason. <laughs> so, or maybe three times. No, twice, twice. My account's been banned twice for no reason. No, so, I, trust well, me, I keep count. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so this this whole episode starts out. If we go back to the very beginning, <laughs> way back. So I right away we knew that this girl was. I knew because it started out with the video. They showed the phone, and her like the phone was filming her. I was like, it's, that was a dead giveaway that she was putting on an act. Why would you do that? If you're not putting on an act, you don't want people to see all that. Well, you know, people do some crazy things uh, for attention, as Ben likes to say. I mean, wow. today I today I realized that someone, that a woman with an OnlyFans account is following me for our evil content. So that was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. You know what? <laughs> yeah. That's more power to women. If that's how they're going to make their money, there's right. no shame in that. But that's kind of funny. Yes. I couldn't help laughing. <laughs> um, Vera said, uh, wondering if the teacher that recommended Leland for the school is the same teacher that lived in the crazy, oh, with the crazy single mom. Oh, I didn't. I wonder why they brought her up because she seemed to be brought up for no reason. They mentioned this. She said a teacher lived with me, but she's not there. I, I thought, why didn't we hear anything else about that, right? I thought it was weird. Um, probably because probably because they plan on bringing her up in the, in the next episode because um, this is episode six, and so we only have uh, four episodes remaining of the season. Yeah, we're running out of time to wrap things mm -hmm. up. But I, I did think it was pretty obvious that this was an act. And, of course... Ben is snooping around and he finds he finds her phone, which is a dead giveaway. And oh. but first, I first I have to I have to mention uh, before we get to the pop up book that I actually love this oh. time uh, uh, that why would someone willingly hurt themselves by eating glass? Uh, I guess it's a a, a, a form of self harm. Or maybe they but, are and, actually possessed. And then she and then she does the whole, you know, lip syncing 
with the with the video or whatever, you know. But how could she stand to talk without all the pain from the injury to her mouth? Well, he said she had stitches, but you know, if, if she's te- if they thought she was possessed, the demon could do all kinds of damage to your body and still make it move. Like it'll break every bone in your body and be like, rah, 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 use you like a puppet, basically. <laughs> Thinking about Stranger Things now, which is the demon. Uh, right? Yeah, I'm caught um, up on that, by the way. Oh, you're all caught up, yeah. <laughs> Just in case yeah. no one else here is. So there's your pop up. That was very <laughs> well done. That is, that is something you never thought you'd hear me say. And that's the demon with all the eyes. I wonder if this whole thing is connected to the demon with the eye. I, Eyeballs on the forehead. Um, wh- which demon is that? I don't really remember a demon with. So Cheryl's um, boss. Cheryl's boss has eyeballs on his forehead. He's not right, a demon. He's, yes. he's that goat. Yeah, the naked goat. <laughs> yep. Yeah, and I didn't think about that one. Yeah, yeah. I just noticed that. Idea. Teacher's name is Christina well, Rutherford. How do you know that they didn't? that huh they didn't even tell us that um did they the say her name teacher's name was Chris. no okay did so they? where did you get Vera, where'd you get that name from yeah because i watched the episode her. three times and i don't remember any kind of name mentioned yeah i don't remember that i didn't write it down i wrote down about the teacher but i didn't write that part down i didn't yeah, let us know where you heard that. Oh, uh, Mr. Beckham says um, you thought that she was going to start spewing demon green puke. <laughs> that would require more <laughs> special effects. So, you know, she would have had to get like some other type of capsule to do that. But we know that the show has been lacking in the special effects department this season. So, well, not not the show possible. special effects, but the girl special effects, like the magic trick. Oh, it re- okay. yeah, it would have required her to do more than eat just those blood capsules and the. And she she glass. forgot to buy the vomit capsule at the at the party store. <laughs> yeah, the vomit capsule. <laughs> I wonder if they have that. Probably, I don't. They have know. those. I've seen I've seen them when I went to a party once in 2018. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, uh, that's huh. like you ever see that scene in Stand by Me where they all just start barfing on each other? I feel like that would happen. I that. haven't ever seen that movie. Oh, okay, I won't ruin it for you. But there's a scene that has to do with barfing. Doesn't that have oh. Will Wheaton in it? It did. Oh, okay. Well, um, I'm a fan of Will Wheaton, so I'm gonna watch it. Yeah, he's the, he's the star of that one. So this information, they go to the Monsignor with this information, and he's pretty stressed out and completely out of touch with this whole thing. <laughs> completely out of touch. It's pretty funny. He's so confused. <clears throat> he looks horrified. Yeah, I, yeah, because these, I guess sometimes even they're cosplayers that do this. The people that do like the horror talk or the dream core, they really get into character. So they're really believable. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he's yeah, just like why would you do that I don't know it's the same reason people get dressed up for Halloween or dress up as their favorite superhero that's like their thing you know see she ate real glass so that was the part that creeped me out the most and watching his expression made, and the way they keep going to it like I, I had to take a minute before I had a, like a nervous breakdown or something <laughs> because if, if you thought it it was real glass. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah. Yeah, even even He's thinking so that it was real glass for me just just made He's me so stressed cringe. out. Yeah, I know. Like getting it cut in your mouth and ah, oh, cutting everything. Yuck. <laughs> like very painful. Well, mm. I people used to sit on glass. I that was awful. I I don't know if you ever seen that viral video. If any of you have seen those there's a uh several. It's disgusting. Of that, I mean, I've There's accidentally, some... I've accidentally sat on my iPad before, but uh, no, no, there uh... <laughs> are videos of people sitting with their bare butt naked onto a glass, and it breaking. Oh, uh... Yes, 
Yes. No, that, I haven't done that. Unfortunately, there are several videos of that and then pulling it out and then pulling the shards out. It's disgusting. I don't know why well, people um, do this. People do a lot for attention. That's the best. Well, fortunately, point. fortunately, I did not sit on my iPad naked. Yeah, don't don't do that. And you definitely don't sit on your your glass. Don't put your ass on your glass naked. Again, <laughs> the Monsignor. <laughs> At least they didn't show that part. But uh, she's reciting that weird Latin phrase that you mentioned really scared you. Was <laughs> that? Oh, I mean, mm. I need to do my stuff. I forgot what it was. <laughs> I, I, I tried to write I, it I out. Would, I actually have it here on my soundboard, but I don't want to play it because you know I don't know how aggressive they're going to be with us since we got flagged before. Yeah, we don't want to like get shut down for playing that one little phrase. That was like a no. Latin phrase. It sounds like a man voice. It was the man, the, the later on we learned it was the magician that created the original sound that everyone else used. So they took a trending sound and they used it. So you have a whole bunch of people making videos that it's exactly what people do on TikTok. <laughs> so then the Monsignor brings uh, Kristen in to tell her that Leland's visit uh, to the was school was board. requested by a teacher. Yeah. And he saw Lexi by accident, which we know isn't true. No, it's nonsense. But the archdiocese found no no evidence of Leland being inappropriate. But they've asked him not to visit the school. Well, Chris isn't Kristen isn't satisfied with that. She's so disgusted. Of course, she's disgusted. The, well, to be honest, I I think that Leland might be a little bit of a pervert too. So, you know. Yeah, you think? Uh huh. Yeah. Well, I was just wondering I, why how this passed the archdiocese, other than maybe Leland's money. Uh, oh, I don't think they actually didn't did any investigation at all. I just think they said, "Okay, you can do whatever you want because you give the church money." Oh, so you don't even think the archdiocese looked into it? No. Wow. Well, either way, Kristen has decided that that's she's unsatisfied. Although law enforcement, they really can't do anything if she has the order of protect or the restraining order. The church cannot like knock down the restraining order they have to honor the restraining order either way exactly. but kristen has these like cards and she's written down all this information let me give cards to the girls to what to do who to call in case in case stranger danger approaches you <laughs> and they're like uh okay this isn't gonna work <laughs> and i gotta say that this was one of my favorite scenes where they were plotting how to handle leland oh yeah laura wanted to kill him <laughs> yes, and I'm like, oh, I'd love her. <laughs> Poison him, they said. And that was the best uh, because these girls, these actresses, haven't had that much to do, even in this season. They've only had maybe a couple of scenes at most. Yeah. This was the most that they have interacted with the audience. And I really, really loved it because I felt like you could feel their full potential. And what they well, were yeah. doing, that they, yeah, that they put everything that they had into it, and I love yeah. it. And they had it; they they didn't have they had several scenes without adults around. I've noticed. I noticed, mm -hmm. so I thought that was interesting, and that helped too because it was just their scenes together without the adults. And it turns out they can talk without talking over each other <laughs> when the adults aren't around. Uh, I really think that it was also a test of their acting prowess um, to see what they could handle in terms of, you know, being on screen for long periods of time. Uh, yeah. Because for, for, for some of these actresses that were on the screen, it's their first time doing something without adults in the room. Right. Well, I mean, they still have adults directing and a whole camera crew, but none to none, no lines exchanged. But... Mm -hmm. uh, that I just liked how they decided to just go back into what is it called Bumblebee Valley, yeah. Yes, and they kind of uh, set him up. They give him information. He gives them information on how to drug their mom, and they really kind of <laughs> set him up. they told they kind of catfish him a little bit, right? Uh, that wasn't well. I guess you could count that as a catfish, but they knew who he was. The so catfish right. was kind of like not knowing who the other person is, though. Right. Um. In the open, oh, wait, they said in the office when she, when he was telling Kristen about the investigation. Oh, okay, that's when they said the name of the woman. Okay, Christine Rutherford. 
Okay, I did not this. get that. We didn't pick up on that. We missed that. Good catch. And uh, we have Kristen. She's drinking her little margarita, and she ends up on Mom Talk. I'm calling that Mom Talk. <laughs> Basically, Mom TikTok. And I saw these hashtags for the girl that mm-hmm. posted her glass eating video, which she pulled up. You notice she hashtag kittens. <laughs> how how, that how does that name. have anything to do with kittens? She that's what people do. They hashtag things that are popular that have nothing to do with the video. Because kittens are popular. Well, there was one thing that I thought when I watched that scene, and it was Was that like a recording of you screaming? <laughs> no. <laughs> so and we have all these recommended videos coming up and she ends up with the margarita mom, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, this woman was scary. Uh, she was, yeah. Ah! <laughs> I wonder how cool. she made her. I wonder how that happened, though. How did she make it do that? I don't know. What you can do is uh, you can film yourself and stop it, pause it, right? Then mm-hmm. while it's paused, you put a drop in your eye and then hit unpause or you hit the countdown, three, two, one, right? Because you can do timed for recording. So you hit timing. You hit it again, Whoa. three, two, one, blink your eye, the blood comes down. So as long as it's, you as long as you, you resume the exact position you were in when you stopped it, mm-hmm. then you can pause your recording, put the effect in, and then unpause it, and then you have your blood. Well, there you go. It, it, it looks like she's having a hard time in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> she might be a little bit constipated. Oh. <laughs> mm. Shouldn't have had the dominoes. That's what I do it. Um <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, these videos are always I mean, if you go on a horror talk, you'll see them. You'll see those. You'll also see a lot of the mom talk. <laughs> I love how she just starts drinking when she sees this. So she's one and then she's kind of like, huh? And then she's like, go, go, go. She starts chugging after that. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow it knows. It knew that she wanted to wait. Did I skip ahead? Did I skip? Did I not get the margarita? Yeah, you got the margarita, yeah. No, there was actually Um, this not where she saw the margarita recipes yet. No, she didn't. Oh, it's uh it's forward. It go go forward to get to that, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was disturbing either way. (laughs) Just like, but how did the algorithm know? Because she was watching horror horror. Or like possession, ghosty, creepy videos, and then somehow it picked I mean, up on her being a mom. But it, but algorithms like that, you know, TikTok never really leaves you if you have it installed on your phone. Like it will examine the apps that you use on your phone. Like if you use iPhone, you can turn all that tracking stuff off. But if you have Android, you don't have as much control over that, and it can track you across apps and across websites. And can tell what you look at. So it knows, hey, you've bought um, some canned margaritas or some tampons this month from Amazon. Right, so let's show right. you a bunch of crap. That, yeah. So it's like. Baby uh, diapers. Everything. Yeah. So then like we have this, the, the, whole, the whole crew watching it. This one was my favorite where that chick was like, Satan is my name. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was my I'm favorite really bummed one, out. I like I could have done I could totally have made a cameo on the show. I'm really bummed out at evil for not asking me to come and do one of these. I could have totally done one. This could have been what would a you would, what would you have done? Any of those. I could have done any of those characters. Um or they could just written a little one where I could do just like a creepy whatever. Creepy person. I'm really good at you try, I, th- I think if you okay, tried to uh, yeah, I know you're good at being creepy. I've seen one of your creepy <laughs> TikToks. <laughs> I, I think Ben in this uh, episode 
throughout its entirety was questioning. Um, yeah, he was debunking all this bullshit. Excuse me, I wasn't sure to say that. Yeah, can I say That's that? That's right. Yeah. Okay. Once or twice. <laughs> okay, so he was debunking, and uh, but I think it it got him in awe of believing how stupid people are. You know. Oh, I think he already knew, but I mean, this just reaffirmed his beliefs. <laughs> People are really, really dumb. I think what later on happens is he he goes down this whole rabbit hole of like trolling the trolls and they troll him back, Mm -hmm. which as we know, it's kind of, you can build followers that way, but if that's not your goal, if your goal is to actually be informative, then it's kind of counterintuitive. It's counterproductive as there is his his friend that actually works for the app tells him later on. You're wasting your time because honestly, if you put out a video about this, debunking this, you're going to get a whole slew of people that are anti this, anti truthers, yeah. anti vaxxers, th- anti whatever, because they're like really yeah. mad and they'll like totally f- like flood your comments about stuff. So I thought that was pretty accurate because that's literally what happens. Like you get a whole slew of people commenting. The acts like mm-hmm. everything, like making stuff up. It's so weird. It's just so weird the way it happens. But and when we when we get to that part with this, when we get to that part what? with this friend, I have to add some dialogue. And when we get to the a bit okay of that part about yeah about them being at the company, yeah. Oh okay okay. Well, they find this creeper guy, and he's a magician turned influencer, and he's actually the source of the sound. And all these people are using that same sound. I don't know how they didn't figure out that in the first place, that anyone that knows how to use an app could just like click on the sound and know that it wasn't her making that voice. I don't understand how like the mom, nobody knew, knows how the app works. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> well, this also demonstrates how dumb people are. <laughs> uh, and- <laughs> I love when they go back to the house and she's completely in normal voice saying, get these people out of here. They're lying. <laughs> they call her on her BS. They're like, uh, and I- yeah. <laughs> do you have a, do you have a screenshot of Ben eating glass? Yes. I got a few screenshots. <laughs> I got that when he okay. did his video later. Yes, the Good, great Heller. You know, yes. Yeah. So I, I think Kristen called it a mental health em- epidemic. I think more like they are, it's more of a clout chasing epidemic where everyone wants to be internet famous. I think it's more, they get like a dopamine hit if they have a video, get some attention and then they want attention um, and they like it. And then they start doing crazy things to like one up themselves. There's this constant pressure to like one up themselves on like what the last thing they did let's say they put a video that does really well and then you put a video that completely tanks like i gotta do they get Mm -hmm. desperate and then they start doing crazy things exactly and i don't see the point in in doing things for fame i mean in hurting yourself to be famous like if you want to be famous like go do porn or something (laughs) don't (laughs) look at the only man there he is there he is sugar glass so sugar I love that. The mom is like, oh man, my kid, my kid completely duped me. <laughs> the kid's like, oh, he found my secrets. <laughs> She's not. I don't happy know who she. Her. I don't know who she is, but she looks really familiar. She's probably been in. I didn't look up the MDB for this yet. So Ben puts a video up. What? What's very, a little bit unrealistic, although maybe not so much for a a, a grown up is that he didn't use his phone. And usually you can't record directly to the computer for these things. You have to use it. You have to go through the app. I mean, you yeah. can in TikTok, you can record on the browser. You can do it. You can? Okay. I thought you, you can. could only I've... upload on upload on the browser. I didn't that's new then because you didn't used to be able to do that. I, I tested it out last week just to see if I could do it, and I, I did, but I never you actually did. uploaded it, though. I didn't know you could do that. That's good to know. Yeah, it was surprising because yeah. I, I thought you could only do it from your iPhone or your iPad or whatever device you had, but apparently not. 
Well, Ben does a call out video for the magician and basically debunks does, does a video debunking all of his little tricks, his floating tricks. And after, like I said, after I saw him post this, I said, he's going to get banned because you have a whole bunch of people that are fans of these influencers and they don't like it when you, when you go after the people they like and they'll come after your video and they'll flag it. They'll just bomb your video. So <laughs> he's doing, he actually bites the glass and <laughs> there you go. Is that what you were looking for? <laughs> Yes, I love, I love that. Oh, and and he is more like me in the way that I love telling people how dumb they are. And I love yeah. telling them why they're dumb. And and I don't care if they're offended by it. So this was <laughs> definitely me. Hey, John W., how are you tonight? We are... Hi, John. <laughs> We're making fun of Ben's videos. <laughs> Uh, as soon as your head upload, I said, and then I knew automatically that his phone was going to blow up with notifications and people making response videos. See, those hearts remind me more of um, Periscope or Facebook. Facebook has that evil thing where if you go live, you can, they, you have that little panel of emojis you can use. It's only like five emojis, mm -hmm. right? It's like, Cry, it's like laughing, crying, or laughing mad. I can't remember what it is. Thumbs up. Th I don't remember what it is. It's for laughing, mad, sad, crying, a bunch of stuff. So sometimes when they're doing very serious videos, streams, you'll see like a news stream and it's like coverage of a crime that's happened that's like really mm -hmm. horrible or a disaster. And you see all these laugh emojis coming up. And I'm just like, what? No, that's just evil. Why are you doing that? Why would you even put that on there? Because it doesn't make any sense. Because you have to hit the button every time. So I'm like, who is doing well, that? This also goes to the point where people are also monsters, too. So um, Yeah. And, and this show, this episode really hit on that. Yeah. Because it shows that some some individuals will do absolutely anything, including harming their own family to get clout. Yes. yes. Well, I don't know if you remember a few years back, there was a channel on YouTube called Daddy O Five, where mm -hmm. they it was they was like reality vlogs, but they were very poorly done. But it was just basically videos of their kids throwing tantrums, but they would do things to provoke their kids to throw tantrums. And there was definitely uh, some really abusive things happening in the household. If you, you had to really go through and look at all their videos, but they were a huge channel and they mm. eventually got pulled down, but it was awful. It was awful. And they eventually uh, also two of their kids ended up going to their mom. I think I don't remember exactly what happened, but it was a huge scandal on YouTube and YouTube had to come in and change all of their guidelines for what they would allow with kids mm. now they're like extremely strict when you have any type of kid in your video you can't be exploiting them in any way like you mm. cannot be they're really because not only that they would have a lot of parents would film their kids throwing temper tantrums and when the kids obviously upset maybe you shouldn't be filming them you know like kids would having meltdowns yeah. or breakdowns and it would provoke emotions out of people. So a lot of people would be watching, but like you're that child is going to get older and have that in the internet forever. And that's exploiting your child. So yeah, they, they will, they will harm their children. They will harm themselves. They will harm other people. Um, Definitely. Yeah. The prank videos where people go too far and they, they're literally harming people. Yeah. I, I think this episode yeah, really I, goes I, into it. I, I think that people who, as you were just saying, the guy on YouTube, I had never heard of him, but I, I think that for somebody who does something like that, they should really end up in jail for a long time. I think he did. Uh, Jay Station got arrested for his girl. He faked his girlfriend's death so that he could contact her through uh, his Ouija board or whatever. And, there was uh, uh, 
when she really ran away, she left because she said he, he wanted to do this prank and he she didn't want to do it. And that was the death prank, the death hoax. So eventually, um, oh. yeah, he eventually got arrested. So she broke up. She broke up with this no good butt because he she wanted to do up. something completely insane. Yeah, he wanted to do that. And she said he was possessive and it's a, the cop showed up because she said there was an assault charge. So they arrested him. I don't know what happened with that. But um, yeah, then he got his kid, his he got several channels pulled. But uh, then he went on like later on to try to start a new one saying he was like buying things off the dark web. He said he bought a child off the dark web and he has a kid sitting on his couch pretending to be a child that he bought. I was like, oh, my God. This guy should have something in his um, probation saying he's not allowed to make any content because he's always doing stuff that's like completely messed up. Um, I'm not sure they could. I'm not sure that the court could do that because Illinois used to ha have a law saying that convicted um, convicted offenders uh, could not have uh, Facebook accounts. And the Supreme Court said, no, that's stifling free speech. So I, I wonder, could could they actually do that? Hmm, I don't know. I don't know enough. But here we see in the next scenes, uh, they're basically all getting notifications, recommended videos. We saw Kristen got the, she got the margarita with Pop Grok's video. And David gets a black priest. And he's talking about being alone, kind of relatable to him. Because as we know, we don't have a lot of black priests in the Catholic Church. So this appeals to him. And I think it's interesting because uh, these are recommended to you and they're giving you the notifications. So if you have your notifications I was a bit, on, go ahead. I was a bit scared. I was a bit scared for uh, for Kristen and David here because each of the videos they were shown kept getting crazier and crazier. Yes. And I'm like what's going to happen next. Yeah. I wondered that too, because the, the initially it, it seemed like it was fun, but as they actually eventually start to become aware later on that they're getting darker and darker recommendations. And apparently it's based on their, their actual browsing history and whether or not they, how long they watched a video like that's all being that like analyzed by their algorithm, mm -hmm. and then you have all these kids coming on here making response videos to Ben. <laughs> I get um, and I kind of I kind of feel their pain, uh, Kristen and Ben here because I get some weird sponsored Facebook ads uh, all the Me time. Me too. Me too. Yes. Um, what cons do you get? I get like stuff, just very weird stuff. Like I once got like this, like a bicycle that was completely round that a whole bunch of people can ride. I, I, I've seen them like if you go like certain cities, they have them as tourist things. You can sit on there like, sit, let's like, I don't know what it's called. It's like, like a octocycle maybe. <laughs> it was mm -hmm. like, a, you have like eight people sitting on it and you can ride the bike around the town, right? Well, I get ads like that, and I'm like, why? Why would I need one of those? I don't even have eight friends. What am I gonna do? Well, <laughs> mine, is, mine is actually really weird. I got right out of watch episodes. So it really creeped me out, actually. I got one for diapers. <laughs> that is weird. <laughs> that is weird. And you know, some people on chairs they do wear diapers, but I don't. Yeah. And so maybe maybe they thought that I needed a diaper. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. I guess that that's probably why. And so probably. we have Ben. And then Ben actually finds the woman, Marie, who seems a lot more legit than the others. Her videos that she posted of her kids being possessed. This catches his attention. It's not somebody cursing. He was giving everyone else a thumbs down. He's not cursing. He's actually not somebody you're gonna, cursing him out. You're gonna you're gonna laugh at me here, but I actually uh, her face caught my attention. I thought she was very pretty until I found out. Crazy. <laughs> well, that's another reason why someone could get more followers and views. Yes, that's definitely a plus to help if you're easy on the eyes. 
<laughs> I love how yeah. it was like angry people and like <laughs> her kids are possessed. Once again, they really crack down on this with all the apps. You can't go on and show your kids in any type of danger. You're going to get pulled because people did and people would create mm -hmm. real situations like this woman where their kids were in danger and they would film it. Yeah, um, unfortunately, well, fortunately, that was before I got on social media, so I was saved from all that stuff. Yeah, I it was never pretty saw bad. Any of that harmful stuff. Yeah, Daddy O Five. Yeah, I mean, I, I, it. I still see some pretty awful stuff uh, sometimes, but uh, I yeah usually stay on the on the light corners of the web. So yeah, so. They, um, the Bumblebee Valley, this is, I love the girls. They make this video exposing Leland for all of his inappropriate actions that they had with him. They were actually screen recording him, I guess. And they, they went and they showed all of the inappropriate things. And I love how he's like, he's legitimately upset about this. He's like, oh. <laughs> um, so they all I... pull him out. This was uh, my favorite part right here because he, like you said, he was genuinely upset and he was like, what the F? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> you know, Set props up. to the girls for what? Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say, uh, that was like a Scooby Doo. That was an evil laugh. Yeah. Uh, so that was this was basically their evil revenge against him, though, and I really loved them asserting themselves as not only you know in def defense of themselves, but they were doing this to protect their mom. Right. And um. And I really love the initiative that took. And uh, yes, Vera, yeah, I am teamwork. very proud of the girls. Yes, yes. Family uh, teamwork. What is I it? think they know she was right because the things that he is saying is uh, the things that he was saying to them were completely inappropriate. And they, they realized that because if you go in there and you interact with him, it's very, very obvious. So I think they also realized this guy is not good, good guy. You know, this guy is bad. I think they, they understood I actually, they interacted with him. Their mom was right. Mm -hmm. And I, I really think that he enjoyed in some sick way interacting with them. I think so, too. I think that's why he was so upset about the whole of his face. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, well, I don't want to be my friend anymore. You lost the bunny and the... He lost the bunny and the giraffe. Oh, oh. When, when, is it... Is it a zebra that comes in next and goes, let's burn down his house? <laughs> <laughs> and I won't say the word because YouTube doesn't like it when we say the actual word, but they call him a Peter Philly. Uh, <laughs> but I'll say the word is Peter Philly. It's the alternate word. I love when they said that and you hear it in like the high pitched voice, but they're like, yeah, let's burn down his, his house because he's inappropriate. And whew, I just, I just like the way this, they, uh, they completely called him out. It's just, very good. Very good. Yeah, normally you don't see that every day, you know. Uh, when they do have, like, an online potential attacker, because uh, I, I don't know if we can say uh, the other word. Um, yeah. Well, definitely not. But uh, if you have a, a potential situation like that, your first instinct is to stay away. Yeah. But they wanted to defend themselves and defend their mother, so they took initiative uh, in yeah. repelling Leland. And yes. I was just so impressed by their, the strength that they showed yeah. in this episode. And they're smart. They're just very, very smart. So mm -hmm. what I got a couple comments here. Hold on. Um, oh, she thought, oh, Vera agreed. She thought the woman was just a sweet person to... They were, it was, it wasn't very obvious at first that she was putting on an act. It didn't no, seem, I was she like, seemed, she seemed pretty genuine. See, see uh, 
you know very TV during these episodes. And so I was like, I'll help you get rid of your demon. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't think you can help with what her problem is right now. I don't think you could have helped. She'd probably be like, okay, then come over here and pretend to be possessed. Come over here and pretend to be the uh, devil. So David and the gang, they oh go God. to this woman's house and they're like trying to evaluate her. And she shows them some of the videos. And I guess that's when they showed the laundry, I think. The laundry thing or when the, when the kid puts the other kid in the dryer. Oh, and... no, it, it wasn't now. It's in the next shot. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. she just wants someone to take her seriously. Oh, yeah, right John here, w. yeah. The, John W. said there are a lot of videos on YouTube with someone rescuing an animal that is in a dangerous situation. I see a lot of those, too. Uh, like caught in a fence and whatnot. Maybe it's a setup. It's possible. Yeah, I wonder about that, too, sometimes. They're like exploiting the animals same thing mm. um but yeah they showed are you sure because i thought i saw him go in with the. that's with the it kid. that's it they i have know they to, showed um, the child the child like like coming falling out of the bed keep going do you have all the shots of the video mm-hmm. okay keep going yeah, yeah, yeah. He comes and puts right. him in the dryer. There, yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That's not a good hiding place. <laughs> if I if I wanted to hide, I'd probably hide in my um what where would I hide in this house? I don't even know. Probably in my closet. Yeah, closet, exactly. Not in the dryer. <laughs> <laughs> I guess he's small enough he could fit in there. But the kids also seem genuinely sad and the poor child like what's his pants it's so sad how, if, if if you're if you're a parent how could you put your kids through something so traumatic just to get likes and shares and all that I, if i were a judge i could tell you i'd get this one the maximum sentence for attempted murder i really would Vera said, "Yeah, he got out. He got pulled out of the bed in the first video. Yeah, she um, she needs child services called because you don't harm your mm. children. I mean, she's harming her children, so they need to be. She needs help, and they need to be taken away because that's not. Mm -hmm. It's not a good situation. No, and yeah, yeah. They people will go that far. People will go that far if they had to, but." Uh, you know, the whole thing is like, no one will listen to me. She really played up on that. I thought like no one taking me seriously, you know, complete victim. She really played that well. I I agree. But, you know, it's when you act helpless and you're like, oh, no one's going to help me. And you, you, you pretend you play up the situation. This is where I believe that she is a sociopath. She's like Leland. She can trick people into doing things um, basically that they don't want to do, but they believe that that would be best for the person uh, that they're trying to assist. Uh, Kegru, there are people that abuse their kids from regular and not for likes. Yes, that's very true, sadly. Yes. We have Ben and watching this people... woman. Go ahead. Those people should also be in prison as well. Um, oh, Vera said, I wonder if she suffers from Munch Munchausen syndrome. The kids or her? Munchausen. Uh, like, that's the, you know, um, Munch, Munchausen, uh, there's Munchausen by proxy, uh, yes. which is where you can force someone, put them under duress, and make it seem like they have a a medical condition when they don't normally have it so that you can yes. get attention for a sick kid. Is so it this something is that, that you believe by extent. yourself? Yeah. Is it, is that only apply to yourself or does that apply for, for other people? Cause I remember they had the Hulu series about the real life story about the girl that the, the mom basically convinced the daughter her whole life that she was disabled. Oh, but she was Yes, the the act. Yes, and that that show terrified me. Don't ask me to relive that. That <laughs> was awful. 
Um, and, uh, but that would be Munchausen by proxy, though. It's when you force another person to be sick. Munchausen's yes. is when you make people believe that you are sick. I got it. Okay. So it's Munchausen. So maybe she believes that she, she knew, though, because at the end, we see her have a moment where she stops and then she turns on the video. If you're doing that, you're not going to turn on the video for no reason. That was obvious because she wouldn't have bothered to do that if she didn't turn the video on. She was doing 100% yes. for the video. And then we have this woman and that cooks a cotton candy. <laughs> I don't know if you can actually do the cotton candy thing, but I, I really want to know that now. No, Ben said it, it doesn't get hot enough to turn sugar into cotton candy. This is a total another parlor trick. And why would you want to eat it off the lint? Yuck. There's like laundry lint in there and you. <laughs> yeah, I've got a, I've got a bunch of in my wooden face. Very good. Yeah, why would you? Ew, ew, yuck. That's true. <laughs> I actually, I actually just cleaned the dryer mint, so it would probably be fine. <laughs> I mean, you can still clean it, but I, there's like residue from other previous lint. I mean, unless you really wash out your machine, I guess. <laughs> That's what he says. He made like a response video saying it, it wasn't mm -hmm. hot enough. If, if your if your dryer was hot enough to actually turn sugar into cotton candy, you'd set your pants on fire. That's what he said. <laughs> Um, and I love Kristen here trying to make a margarita with the Pop Rocks. I didn't really yeah. understand. I didn't really understand the Pop Rocks. I was like, what are they for? Why is this happening? You know, people make weird cook, like cooking hacks all the time and drink hacks. What other kind of hacks? They are very picky on social media now, though, about booze. So if you show yourself drinking something it's probably gonna get throttled because it's not that it's not legal but um you're you're really not gonna get a lot of traction because they don't want people promoting alcohol um mm -hmm. promoting drinking so a lot of these types of videos i don't know about i don't know about tiktok but on youtube and well tiktok to a certain extent they don't want people drink i think remember a while back you were saying can i drink during the um the stream and i was like well you can <laughs> You can, but they won't like us very much if we do. Uh, you want a free see, I see what see you did there. I see what you did there. You exposed my drinking, Larise. How could you? <laughs> well, anyone that's been watching our videos would have known. <laughs> <laughs> um, see, I would have replaced these uh, Pop Rocks with salt because I love to like uh, move my tongue around on the rim. Yeah, right? I think this is yeah. like, I feel like this, isn't it bad if you mix like pop rocks and soda type stuff and her margarita is kind of like a a spritzer type thing. It's like soda and because it's going to make your mouth explode. I was younger. <laughs> I did yeah. this experiment when I was younger. It actually spilled, it actually, oh, I punched my microphone. I got so excited. <laughs> <laughs> it, it goes over, like it bubbles up and it spills over. So you can't really drink it because it's, will rise up out of the cup. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, Vera wants a margarita. Uh, Kangaroo, uh, there are people that attempt to dry their clothes in the microwave in real life. I, wow. I don't want to know these people. <laughs> I remember someone put their, their stuff in the microwave to kill COVID. I remember in the very beginning, people did that. Basically, you're just dehydrating. I did not hear about that, no. Yes. Yes, that that happened. People are so um, dumb. We have, a, <laughs> we have a we have a new comment in. Uh, would yeah. you care to read the latest comment? Yes. Are you a lush? <laughs> uh, no, uh, I am not a lush. Uh, I do enjoy my booze, though. Well, I said you could drink it. Just put it in a uh, a cup so no one sees the actual beer. I was like, go ahead, as long as they don't see it. Whatever. <laughs> it wasn't here. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> there you go. Justin, uh, exposed. <laughs> <laughs> but she ends up going down and seeing these other videos. We're not going down. She's like scrolling down to see these other videos. And the one woman is saying her, her kids made this chalkboard. She did the same thing Kristen did, but 
she made a chalkboard of rules <laughs> and, the, uh, and the kids made the rules on the other side Kristen's like aha <laughs> 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 Margarita. I don't. I don't know why she suddenly thought that her daughters did that. Because she's drinking the margarita and all caught up in the moms, and she realized that she did the same exact thing. So, oh wait, maybe my kids did that because they now this is like playing on your paranoia because that's what these apps do. Because fear is such a strong motivator. Fear is probably like the biggest motivator. So. That's why they're popular. She's running in, <laughs> checking on. But what cracked me up the most about this when we got to see the mm. one rule that they hadn't showed before, which was what would Beyonce do? <laughs> did you catch that? No, I did not. No. You didn't catch it. It's said there. That. It said that. WWBG, <laughs> what would Beyonce do? Oh my God. I did not see it. What would Beyonce <laughs> do, though? Uh, she would become, uh, you know, what's the character? I forget what it was. What's the character? Don't, she don't snitch facts when you can spread. What's that? Oh, uh, rumors? Yeah, those are not good rules. No. <laughs> Some of these are bad. <laughs> well, maybe what would Beyonce do? But Sisters Before <clears throat> Misters. Sister Before Misters is good. I mean, so that means, like, if one of them gets a boyfriend in the future, they always Sasha. prioritize each other. Yes. Sasha yeah. Fierce. Yes, that's the Beyonce character. Sasha Fierce. That's right. Um, there was a girl in the show that, yes, later on, Ben is watching a video and the woman, the girl, she's like, here's what you can do to kill COVID. And she sticks the blow dryer in her mouth. <laughs> do we Do we have that? I do, but it's like, I don't know when it is, but I think it's coming up. But Kristen goes and she writes, nope. That's exactly what I would have done. She writes, nope. <laughs> and then later they go, sorry, mom, love you or something yeah. like that. Yeah, well, I'm sure they got walked out and were like, uh-oh, she found it. And then we have this other priest that David is watching and he's talking about wanting to go on Tinder and having urges. I feel like if this priest belonged to a parish and he put this video up, everyone is going to know about these thoughts and you're not really supposed to be sharing them on an app. Well, <clears throat> well, Larice, uh, let's be honest though. Uh, the church uh, isn't really up to date on the internet um, because there's a lot of stuff out there publicly on Twitter and Facebook that shouldn't be up there from uh, the various different religions um, that they're not aware of. And um, I'd stay up there. Well, somehow they were able to discover when Leland ends up getting doxxed and the church got doxxed by the girls later on, they were able to see all of that and they learned about that. So you'd think a church would know because all it would take is one member of the church to go to the Monsignor and say, hey, you have a priest that's talking about Tinder. It's completely inappropriate. It's just like one, one person to see the video. Chances are if they're kids, if they have kids, their family, they're a family, they're going to church, they're going to see it. So I don't know if what he was actually seeing is a real priest. It's questionable because some of these people are not real. Obviously people pretend. Well, so. <clears throat> I can also, even sitting here on StreamYard, I could change my background and change my shirt without actually changing my shirt. I could do it all digitally. So maybe this is faked. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Like maybe he just put on a, a white collar and pretended to be a priest. I mean, there was uh, one point today where I thought that I would go around the neighborhood on my bike without a shirt on, <laughs> but I didn't do that. <laughs> you should have filmed that. I wonder how many likes I would get for that. You probably would have gotten a few likes. <laughs> <laughs> so dude's probably, uh, Kegaroo, dude, dude says, uh, you're probably not a real priest. He said, he's airing his dirty laundry, just like how these people were faking. Yeah, I agree. I, that's why I thought that was off. But then we have like Demon Kristen appearing in a Catholic schoolgirl uniform. 
I was like, yes, it's time for demon sex. So <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I'm already tired of this demon, Kristen. I'm just like, go away. You're a pain in the butt. You're not real. And you're just a big tease at this point. See, I do have a different opinion. Up until the Sister Andrea moment, uh, my opinion was I wanted Demon Kristen to come visit me. <laughs> yeah, well, now that you know what she looks like, for real, do you want Demon Kristen to come visit you? <laughs> no, Demon Kristen can stay far away. Yeah, well, she brings up to David some of his inner thoughts because, you know, demons, they can get in your heads. And he had questions or maybe he was a little bit unsure as to what he was doing as we saw in the episode mm -hmm. with the Chinese man, when he came and gave the guy last rites and this man was murdered and she mentions this to him and he denies that he thinks it's a problem, but she mentions the entity because he obviously, he can't talk to Kristen in real life about that because he's not allowed to talk to anyone. So he's only allowed to mm -hmm. talk to the demon about this. And then also grace, because initially Victor LeConte came to him and said, oh, you need to do this. We're going to try and help Grace. But we haven't heard anything about Grace. And we really don't know if that's the real motivation between all, behind all the tasks that they're giving David. Yeah, I mean, how do you, how do you know that they're not trying to harm Grace? Exactly. Because when Grace got deported, it was still unclear as to who was responsible for calling ICE. And because she was being perceived as a potential false prophet and someone that was giving this prophecy that there was going to be a fall of the Catholic church, you know, the demise of a Catholic church, that wasn't something that they wanted. They didn't want out there. So I wonder the oh, same no, thing. No, no. They wouldn't want that. Um, Vera says, if they aren't having sex, I don't see the point in her. <laughs> uh, I actually do, and I have two points on that um, real quick. Uh, uh, you have a shot of the demon uh, yeah. in David's room. Okay. Go to that real quick for me. Yeah. Well, when before we get to that shot, Sister Andrea oh, okay. is peeping through the... <laughs> she's always looking through the door. Mm. She's always creeping through the door. <laughs> she's like a little mouse screwing around and being like, whoop. Are you? What are you doing? And but she knocks at least. She knocks a few times, and that's she sees it. That thing is looks like a, a flying spider. Oh, I don't like it one bit. It's like a flying spider demon. Ugh. Okay, so awful. I have a theory. The demon, the purpose of the demon. I don't know if you'll agree with me or not. And Lorenzo, I would love to hear you comment here on this as well. Uh, the demon is feeding off of David because we see she is drinking his blood. Yes. Yeah, I saw that. What was that? It looked like she was like drinking from his his head. Yeah. Uh, well, she could be drinking his blood or his um, uh, what is that? Um, his what? What is that fluid in your brain called? I don't know. I don't have a lot up there, so. <laughs> I, I I know having a lot up there is bad, and if I had a lot up there, I would need a drain in my head, but thankfully I don't. <laughs> well, they do think, in general, it's kind of an, a known, not known, but a, a widely believed theory that these creatures do feed on humans. They're, these entities actually do feed on your energy. They feed on your fear. They feed on your emotion, your anger. So that's why if they can provoke these emotions from you for whatever, even if it's lust, they can feed on you. And from so, what I gather, the more you feed them, the more you interact with them, the more attention that you give them with hauntings and possessions, the more they feed on you. That's a wonderful analogy, uh, and I want to build on that real quick. Um, well, with what we know now, with this horrifying picture, um, it kind of <laughs> reminds me of the goat with the jets up. But uh, with this horrifying picture, I don't think that they were actually having sex. I think it was all an illusion in David's mind. I think she was feeding off his brain or his blood or whatever uh, nutrients she was pulling from him. 
they were in a sense interlinked together. I can't, that's the only thing I can say without making it really dirty. So I'm sorry. Y'all. <laughs> so uh, we have a couple comments here. Uh, Vera said, who sleeps on the floor like that, David? Well, it's weird because he was, we thought he was looking at a video at his desk, but he was actually on the floor. So when did he actually get to the floor? Did the demon have him like sleepwalk over and lie down? I think he was just lying uh, no. to, to well, Andrea at that point. Well, no, well, I don't think he knew what happened because Andrea, I know we can't play the video in, in the stream, but Andrea heard a big thud in the room. Uh, and I took oh. that to be David's, David's body hitting the floor. So maybe he was sitting on the desk and he looked over and he started to see the demon because the demon was possessing him and then he just fell down because and then they started feeding off of him somehow in this interaction. Exactly. I got it. Gray matter. You said he, gray. Are you talking about gray matter? Um. Yeah. Well, I, I guess to some extent, yeah, because um, it's it's kind of like spinal fluid almost, but. Um, there's this there's there's this buildup of fluid in the brain, and if you get too much of it, you can have strokes or seizures or even die, and that's why you know there's something in the brain that regulates it, um, to uh, keep you know. I don't uh, even know what it is. Endorphins. Uh, so a couple of people. <gasps> cerebral said, fluid. Oh cerebral yes, fluid. cerebral fluid. Thank you, like John, and thank you, Yuck. Pam. Yuck. Uh, and I would like just a second to point out that um, I actually do have a neurological disability. So to some extent, I yes, mine is neurological. So I have a little bit of brain damage, but who cares? <laughs> well, uh, thank you for giving us the correct term for that. Um, that yes. just makes that makes me worry. That concerns me. That the the name. Of just that, that medical term. Some medical terms creep me out, like that specific cerebral fluid. Uh, the idea of well, then my things. well, then my disability will really the naming of my disability will really creep you out. So I'll say no, not no, no, Be no, because I you've already done that. That doesn't creep me out. Have it's I done that like, before? Yeah, you've told me what it is. Oh, okay, I totally yeah, forgot you told about me what it is. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm not an ableist. You think I'm a monster ableist? No, it was the actual, <laughs> the term for the fluid was, was kind of like, I don't know why, like any type of fluid in general, I just get a little bit freaked out about. Um, blood, bile, <laughs> pee, <laughs> diarrhea, I don't know. <laughs> Things oozing, um, pus, all that. I'm just, I could never work in the medical field. Because I'm so, uh, I'm so, uh, what you, I forgot the word for it now, but, um, well, oh, um, when I, said, go ahead. Oh, no, go ahead. Go ahead. No, Kangaroo said, uh, I thought Sister Andrea was going to catch David having sex with the, the Kristen demon. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad that didn't happen. That would have been really awkward. Um, well, now I forgot what I was going to say um, before that sex with Sorry. Kristen Demon thing. Uh, it's okay. You got me thinking about that now. It's cool. Um, but Vera says, nothing is worse than sitting on glass naked. <laughs> That's pretty bad, too, I have to admit. Uh, I... no. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Larise, come on. Well, at least we're not watching the uh, the demon sex one again with the demon in the bed we with the couple. Seen that. You know what we kept seeing? Uh, we kept seeing the guy with the was it last week? The guy that the topless demon with the uh, the moobs, the moobs, the man boobs. <laughs> oh <laughs> yes, make... uh... that <laughs> I don't like this demon. I don't like the spider. I don't like the way it flies. It's a flying spider. I don't like its eyes, whatever this thing is hanging down, like, ew, it's disgusting. Is that a stinger? I don't like this one bit. That is an ugly That, that is what it, 
That is what it uses to suck out whatever it gets oh, for uh, nutrients. The cerebral there. fluid. <laughs> Uh, I mean, oh. I shouldn't have used the words. I shouldn't have used the words "stuck out." I should use the words ex- uh, "extract." Drain, extract. There's a lot of fluids. There's also that jar of stuff that those jars in Leland's closet. We see later on that thing. Oh, I don't like it. And it's got a smile. It's like smiling. Eee! That I don't like it one. Yes. Day. Um. That see, I think. Sister Andrea told David in this scene because he like screamed at her at the top of his lungs for some reason. Um, yes. And she said, You invited something into your life. And I don't it. recall him I don't re- I don't recall him inviting anything into his life. I think she said you allowed it. I don't know. Did she say invited? Maybe allowed. I think she said you allowed something to get in your mind. And he's very defensive because as he says to her right at the end, I think before Sister Andrea comes in, he says Mm -hmm. the reason why that he's seeing, he hasn't seen this demon, the sex demon in a while. And he thinks the reason why he's seeing her all of a sudden again is because the temptation, because he's Mm -hmm. been, and he was tempted by the VidTap videos. So that kind of, that's what kind of prompted him to see this thing again. Um, TikTok videos do not tempt me to do anything. So um, I think he's just trying to find an excuse for his sexual desire, to be honest. Um, he's trying to find an outlet to make an excuse for him right. for having those those feelings. Well, yeah. Well, the, the thing was the thing trickster. The thing trick. The thing is a trickster. Like it tricked him. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. he didn't initially think that's what was he was getting <clears throat> together with, getting it on with the demon. But then he thought, why not? I'll just give in. Um, it sounds like he ended it, but then she reappeared. So he he did like that Sister Andrea knew that there was something in him, mm. in his head. Uh you're right, but if it was just in his head, if it was just in his subconscious, Sister Andrea wouldn't have seen that, though. Right. Right. So, well, it's it's in his head, in, in like a possession in his head, not just in his subconscious, like literally possessing him in in some to some degree. Yeah. She's not happy, exactly. and then he tells her, um, "Don't come in my room unless I let you in," or whatever. And I, I thought he was really abrasive and aggressive with her in the scene. I'm like, Sister Andrea is a little old woman. What are you doing yelling at her, telling her not to come in your room? She's the because... one who cleans your room, you. Yeah. yeah. So I'm like, don't, don't be ungrateful to Sister Andrea. She's immaculate. Well, she want, he's defensive because it's the truth. And now he knows that she knows. And that's very uncomfortable considering the activities that he's engaged in with this thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and Vera says, uh, is that plasma in those jars? Uh, we'll get to that, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and answer that. Uh, the answer is no, because plasma is uh, not as thick as whatever is in those jars. And it does not give you a feeling of euphoria having it injected into your body. So it's uh, coffee. No. <laughs> it's what it's coffee yeah. with milk and sugar, <laughs> or maybe like a milkshake. I, I, so it's I wonder it's a what, coffee I wonder what it. I wonder what it actually is though. Um, like what the actors are putting, you know, in. No, they're not literally injecting something into their body. No, but no. What that what that is meant to simulate in the jar uh, when they film the scene. Yeah, I don't know. Probably something with like brown food coloring or whatever, and like a tannish food coloring. Uh, ugliest demon so far. Uh, yeah, definitely ugliest demon. Now we're back in Bumblebee Valley. Bumblebee Valley. He's really upset. Uh, they, this is where they 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 go hardcore and they totally dox him, like his full name, his age, and they dox the parish. 
oh, they look so innocent, but no, no, they completely <laughs> dox him. Uh, and I, I have to say that this was my favorite scene, favorite, favorite of all the scenes. Like, it, it really was when they gave his full name and he said, oh, F. Uh, and yeah. you know how I love to... You know how I love to say the word, but I'm not going to say it on the stream. <laughs> well, I like that he was, he's completely, he's so sad. He's like, look what they did to my house. They're being mean to me. They're being mean. They're like, we need to stop. He's so full of it. <laughs> I love how they decide right at that moment because he's trying to play the victim and they show the, the burning home. He says, they burned down my home and they're being mean. He's really sad for real. Like he's really he's like, upset. <laughs> He says, my mom died and they burned down my house. I know. And I'm like, oh my God. Yeah, he, he's, I think he was gen genuinely upset that these girls were being mean to him. <laughs> they hurt his feelings like all the other women in his life. <laughs> They're all the same. I love that they got uh, to I me. don't. The the name in the latest comment, I I can't pronounce that. Can you pronounce it for me? Uh, kangaroo? kangaroo? Yes, Kangaroo. Uh, yes. Uh, he says, David is not ungrateful. It's that he's guarded about his privacy. Um, I, I disagree because he's part of the Catholic Church, and in the Catholic Church, you don't really have any privacy. So, Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, also, let's not forget that he put his career on the line for her, and he defended her. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but she, I, I think she sees herself as paying him for that by protecting him. Yeah, her intentions are good. She wants, I don't know why he wouldn't take that as an opportunity to accept her help. I guess maybe he felt a little bit pressed that he had to go to this house because they're trying to, they're, they're in the middle of a case, but you'd think he would kind of see that as a little bit of relief because he's been keeping this secret for a while and that would, that she gave him an opportunity to open up a little bit about this because he knows that mm -hmm. she can help him probably. She's probably the only one that could help him get rid of whatever it is, get rid of sex Christum, but maybe he's just very uncomfortable talking about what they did. That's very possible. <laughs> J just say, you know, very clearly and simply, <clears throat> I had sex with a demon. I mean, it's <laughs> very simple. <laughs> you know, how, how would she react to that? She would... I don't completely know. Completely go 100% full on mama. Oh, David, what have you done? You know what I'm saying? She's not going to take that well. <laughs> She's not. See, uh, see, now I've got you all excited. You're hitting your desk and everything. And <laughs> <laughs> Well, we'll move along. So then they go to the house and they all are in the car waiting now they said this woman said like the activity usually happens around 2 a.m actually no it happens specifically at 2 a.m on the dot that's another dead giveaway that it's all kind of an act because the way it happens to happen at the same time and then she goes live and gets probably a whole bunch of views but in the car well, it's not even 1 a.m yet so she had to do the parlor tricks early because when they were there they would have been able to see them so that's why I think she starts in with, she gets a little bit of a head start. It's not even 1 a.m. Yeah, but uh, have you seen The Conjuring, though? Yeah, I've seen all of those. Uh, okay, so in the, in the first movie, the clocks stopped at 2 a.m., and that's when the demon attacked. Oh, so, okay. If she had stayed on her schedule that she put forth, um, it would have uh, it would have been believable to David uh, that the demon was attacking the family. Yeah, that's true. He could. That's true because you, you could have a, a demon that attacks every at a specific time every night. 
but why film it again? And it started early. And when they're in the car, they're talking and they're getting all these notifications from that app. And they're talking about how addictive it is. But they're suspicious of these recordings. And they notice this like live stream that's going on in the house. They get a notification that what's going on in the house. And they that's how they find and they go inside and they see Marie. She has started up a live stream and they even question, mm -hmm. why did you stream? Again, why would you stream that? You understand? That doesn't... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm sorry for my pause there. I thought you weren't done talking, so I didn't want to interrupt you. Um, oh, I don't mind. But uh, it, it was really weird to me because she was like, "Oh, it's the app, it's the app." Not even TikTok can start itself up by accident or more on this. Yeah, like that's that, that's not a thing that suspicious. any no no phone developer would allow apps on their platform that would automatically start like facebook had a scandal a few years ago with their messenger application where by default it would turn on the feature that allowed you the feature that would let you accept video calls by default uh without hitting any buttons so the problem was you know women mostly women in this instance would have their phones propped up on their dresser or something and they get a facebook call and boom it would immediately answer i know this because i had this happen to one of my friends oh no okay yes. i remember that apple got maybe it's like a couple years ago apple got in a lot of trouble because it was was it like listening to, or maybe listening to calls <clears throat> or it would call people by uh it was a it was a bug in in uh, in FaceTime that if you FaceTime somebody and even if they didn't answer, uh, it, you could still hear them on their microphone for a second. Yes, yes, that was a bug though. Yes, uh, and they they very quickly fixed it when they were hit with a lawsuit. Yeah, I remember that. That was a big that was a big exposed thing. A lot of people were like freaking out. I remember seeing a lot of YouTube videos about it. Yes, uh -huh. talking quite a bit about it. Uh, Kegger Yu says, everyone has something to, to private to hide. That's true. Even in the church, it's not just David. I bet Sister Andrea has a skeleton in her closet. I'm sure she does. Um, mm -hmm. Three, I heard it said, yes, 3 a.m. is supposed to be the official de de demonic time. Yes, well, it's known as the witching hour. So it's the most... The most paranormal activity will happen at 3 a.m. So if you have a haunting or some type of possession, there's a good chance that's that's the hour to have it to experience it. But and I, uh, you know, as, as many times as I have, uh, you know, told in the course of viewing the show with you, I have invited demonic entities to come visit me at night, and none have uh, accepted the invitation. So. I think I'm okay. <laughs> That's good. Well, when they go in, the kids have uh, the scratches and they see, um, again, it seems legitimate, especially because she scratched herself and she starts bleeding. She must have done that before they came in because it seemed to just appear out of nowhere. But there's she must no have scratched way. It started bleeding like i have a hard time believing she did that to herself though because that's a very deep cut like yeah how, it, it's like trying to drown yourself it's almost impossible so you would i don't know double over in pain before you could even get that deep uh no people do that though definitely People self-harm like that, and they do deep cuts like that. Oh, my um, God. Usually, not so much on their stomach. I uh, see people do it on their arms and legs, usually. If it wasn't They'll for that, if it wasn't for that, if it wasn't for that cut, she would have a nice stomach, though. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. Um, unfortunately, it's, it's, it's not, she's not quite right, because this is not. No. This is no, not healthy. No, right harming herself she's harming her kids but again she seems like an intimate in 
intimate, not intimate. She seems like an intimate victim, not intimate. She'd be intimate for you. <laughs> she was like an innocent victim. <laughs> An innocent victim. Well, now that we know she's nuts, I don't want any part of that. Yeah, you don't need that. Yeah, you don't need that. <laughs> I've, already, I've already had plenty of nuts in my life. Uh, as, <laughs> as far as 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 far as women go, I have plenty of Jero, uh yeah. crazy. So, but I guess they mentioned Ben and David mentioned when they leave the house. You know, these apps can't just start us. You can maybe start itself. It can run in the background, but it can't start a live stream. It can't just start recording. No, so no. that's when he says he has the friend that works for uh, Vid, whatever it is, VidTap. And, oh, Kristen's jacket. I wanted to say I liked it. <laughs> Go back. Just one frame. It's completely not even. I just like it. It's shiny. She has a sign, shiny. She has a shiny silver puffy coat. I just, I love it. I just like it for her. <laughs> I don't think I'd wear it, but I like it for her. And see, see, it would look good on you. I think I, I really think it would. Oh, would it? Okay. So yeah, it really would. It for next next like, winter, I'll get one. That that video that you took at Kristen's house uh, when you went there, um, you were wearing a, a jacket with a scarf, and my my first thought was, oh, she's pretty in that. Like I didn't even pay attention to the. To the house in the background. I was like, she looks good in that. I need to tell her. Oh, that's right. I had, it was so freaking cold. I was like, oh, my God. It was like in March when we went. So I was like, it, it's actually not a bad day, but it was just so freaking windy. It's right by the water there. But, yeah, that when I had my hat on, and I was like, uh, I had my hat and my hoodie on. But, um, yeah, if there wasn't so much wind, it wouldn't have been too bad. There's a lot of wind. It's probably really nice right now. But, uh, oh, Vera said you're kind of horny for this lady. <laughs> okay. I, I would like to respond to that and say that before, you know, uh, first of all, I'm not horny for a crazy evil lady. But uh, but she did grab my attention with her face. Okay. So okay. I'm not horny for a crazy lady. She's on the eyes. And uh, Kagaru said, no, 12 a.m. is the witching hour. Okay. I thought it was 3 a.m. Okay. So I misunderstood. I miss. Uh, and um, I'm sorry, I can't pronounce his name. It confuses me. Um, he says, just yes, Kegger, you. He says, if Justin, oh, he says, Justin, if she can harm her kids to cloud chase, then she, oh, yeah, she has no inhibitions to self inflict pain. Yes. Okay. See, that I didn't consider that. Okay. Yes. Yes. See, Avira, you said she is cute. Yes, I agree. If she wasn't crazy, yes. This is the girl this that... right here. Yeah. <laughs> this is inappropriate. This is just inappropriate. I'm sorry, that doesn't look right at all. I'm not going to even leave it on for too long. But yeah. She put the hair dryer in her mouth. This didn't look right. Sorry. She's like, this is how you kill... I, he must have at some point posted a video about COVID. And they didn't like that. So, of course, now she <laughs> I thought COVID didn't exist in the, in the evil universe, but I guess it does. Yeah. Uh, well, they... <laughs> this is how you kill COVID. Well, you put a hair dryer in your mouth. She's lucky uh -huh. she didn't get electrocuted. Well, they did touch on it a little bit in season two when David had the, um, the visit from the <laughs> archangel. Yeah. And then he looked over at the laptop. And that's right. There was that, that yes. Wuhan virus. That's right. That's right. Exactly. And so uh, this, you know, COVID does exist in their universe. They just didn't do the COVID season. Because yeah, to be did. honest, to be honest, they were like, who wants to watch that? I mean, the um, no. Robert Michelle King and Alex Kurtzman, who is the executive producer of Discovery, Star Trek Discovery, he said, well, we want to make it watchable, but we don't want to do the COVID season. Oh, I didn't get that last But week. in a... Oh, you didn't hear me? No, I glitched for some reason. Oh, sorry. Um, so Robert King and, uh, and Mich uh, Michelle King, uh, along with Alex Kurtzman from Star Trek Discovery, he's the executive producer. They all said, you know, with our perspective shows, 
we don't want to do the COVID season because nobody wants to be reminded that there's a virus because we, we're literally living through that right now. Right. Wait, well, we'll turn so on the nobody TV and just like yeah. escape it, kind of give us a sense of normalcy. Plus, who's going to watch a, a show with everyone's literally in masks? <clears throat> I mean, I guess they could do that, but I mean, seriously? I mean, Grey's Anatomy did that for a season, so. Did they do it? Okay. Yeah, they did. I guess if, and but that's also that's also a medical that's also a medical drama, so it's it's like yes, expected. But, like half their scenes are probably already good, have masks on. The good doctor only did it for one episode to pay homage to COVID, and then they were like, eh, oh. let's drop this. So Yeah. Uh I'm gonna ignore that. I won't repeat what uh Kegger you said. <laughs> I'm just gonna laugh at your comment. Um a woman I work with once told me that to kill a virus, one has to drink bleach. <laughs> uh, well, okay. the, yeah, uh, somebody somebody said that. Our, our, our president said, <laughs> didn't know, inject, inject, inject bleach. Inject sunlight Kager, and bleach. Kager, you, I, I, mm, I, <laughs> yeah, I don't, don't know why that. you would say that. No, I'm not going <laughs> to. This is a Bernie Sanders going, no, no, no. No 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 no! You know that little like meme of him going like that. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> That's me doing that. But it, it okay. I won't say it. But uh, don't say uh, it. I, okay, okay. Oh, move. On. We all saw it. Uh, yeah. Don't inject bleach. Don't drink bleach. That's not how you kill the virus. <laughs> it's really. I mean, there's antivirals now, so there you go. Um, that's the closest you're gonna get. So uh Kristen is in bed and now she's on to the moms that are jealous, like jealous and paranoid moms that maybe their husbands are cheating on them or having affairs. And this leads to her thinking about Andy, what he's up to. I love how she's trying to make herself look hot for him. She really like, she's like sure looking, it's like your husband. Come on, it's just your husband. You can look kind of, you know, dumpy. Yeah. Yeah, I mean if if it were me and like I have a girlfriend or a wife that's worried about her looks, don't be because I love you for who you are. So if you have right. a messy hair day, that's yeah, fine. I mean, um, yeah. I mean, all the all the girlfriends that I've had in the past have been self conscious about how they look. I'm like, don't be doing that. Don't do that. Yeah. I thought I thought it was cute, but I was also kind of like, well, I mean, it's your husband. But then she tries to like zoom him as soon as he said, when he said, uh, "I miss you all very much," I knew something was off because the way he said it was like no emotion. He says, "Oh, I miss you all very much." I was like, "Oh, this sounds like." At first, I didn't I didn't have any idea that Leland was on the other end. I thought that they were playing like a loop that was just like these generic responses. I didn't think it was he was actually interacting as Andy. But I want to know how they did the deep fake though. Like that's, you, you would have to have image of Andy wearing that, um, wearing those clothes in order to be able to deep fake it and make it look realistic. Right. Yeah. They probably, maybe they took him there first and then kidnapped him or they took him to a place where they made him do this and dress up they could have done like a green screen video in leland's apartment where they made him oh, look probably. like and said hey put this on and threatened to torture him if he didn't so it, it was it was definitely but, suspicious <clears throat> though i really thought it was a loop i think they made a filter they ended up making like a filter out of like a, a deep fake out of i guess yeah a, a deep fake of him okay and let me just just this made me hate him even more. And let me explain why really quick. Oh, no. Uh, because, yes, this made me hate him even more. Because if somebody threatens you and says, do this uh, or else we'll harm your family. Like, I would do anything to protect my family, whether if it's my wife, my kids, whoever. If you're a part of my family, you're, you're good. I've got your back. So... I wouldn't do anything to help someone hurt them. Like that would be my, my number one thing would be to keep them safe. And he, Andy is furthering their designs to hurt Kristen and the girls. 
maybe inadvertently, maybe against his will, but I would rather die than hurt my family. Well, what do you think he did to endanger them? Um, I think that maybe he, um, I'll read Kegaroo's, uh, in just a second, but, uh, I, I believe that maybe they said, do this because we want to, you know, mess with your wife or whatever, and we'll hurt your kids. But that's when he should have said, you know, he should have done what they wanted and he should have did whatever he had to do to get out of there in that moment. I mean, Andy doesn't seem like the type to carry a gun, but I don't know. Like, he, he needs to get tougher because this is just unacceptable. Justin knows he was celebrating when when he saw Andy bound against his will. <laughs> yes, I was. I, I was cheering in the, in the admin chat. It's not, though. Uh, the thing is, they're setting... I told... I, I think... I told Justin, I think they're setting him up for a rescue. I don't think he's actually going to die now because they completely, this was completely unexpected. I did not see this coming at all. This, I was blindsided Larice, by this. Larice uh, knows it's my birthday in two days and this is going to be the best early present that I can have. And she's trying to take it away from me. <laughs> okay. All right. He, he's They're going to kill him eventually. They're gonna put him in a jar, and they'll, they'll pour his blood all over uh, Leland. Isn't it that nice that Cheryl has her own bedroom now? What is going on? Or is she just hanging out in his bedroom? It's very weird. They have a weird relationship now. I I what don't think this? they're screwing though. I don't think they're screwing. I just think they're no um, evil, like evil counterparts. I guess I. It's the whole thing is weird. But then again, it was it was bizarre in the first place. I just is that his bed or is that her bed or is she not taking over his bed? He has to sleep on the couch. I have so many questions about this. That the it's his bed because that's where he had the exorcism at, and um, <clears throat> uh, where he you know had to freak out and kick the priest against the wall and said uh, "f you" to uh to the priest. Oh yeah, in the high pitched voice. Well, he's, I, when he said, when he said, I'm going to go get him. And she said, don't wake him up. Right. I thought it was going to be Edward for some reason. I don't know why. I didn't know what that was all about. And they said, don't wake him up. Don't wake him up until mm -hmm. we actually saw Andy. I didn't know what was going on. And then Leland's paranoid that Kristen's going to be on to them and find out because of the whole anniversary thing. Cause Okay, but I, I have to ask you I have to ask you a quick question on that front, the anniversary thing. What yes. did you think that was about? Because I can't I can't put my finger on it. It was the first date. Oh, it was the first date. Okay. Did they yeah. say that? Mm-hmm. They he confirmed it in the end after they waterboarded him pretty much. Yeah. Oh. He All nodded. Right. Yeah. Um, he nodded. And I have, to, I have to say that I did not, I was not sympathetic to Andy. I was just like, yes, die, please. Uh, because all he's ever done is complain about how Kristen raises the girls. No, that's not all he's ever done. Come on. He can be, he can be a little whiny, but he can be fun too. <laughs> well, he did help them. Um banish the the game in the first season so i i yeah. guess there's a little bit of good in andy yeah there's definitely good he just doesn't like cheryl and he wanted cheryl out because he sees her for what she is and because he pushed and said and she said all right it's on she she bent the gloves are off she literally arranged his kidnapping so she's a lot more evil than he thought and she's mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think he realized that she was capable of this. Um, did did it seem like I, Cheryl was coaching Andy in response? Um, I, I don't think so. Um, Cheryl hates Andy. Not as much as I do. I hate Andy slightly less <laughs> than Cheryl does. Um, <laughs> uh, 
but I I really really think that well I I used to think now I think differently um, that she didn't want to cause Kristen harm in the beginning of the season, but now I think she does because if she didn't, why would she be working with them? I mean, they're complete and total a holes. So why well, would she be working wants, with people? No, that I don't think she wants to cause. I just think she wanted Andy out, and she works with them because they're making her feel powerful and she's getting power from it. She's getting those infusions, whatever they are from those little coffee jars. And she feels independent and strong and they're making her feel good. Yeah. But how does she stop them though? I don't think she's thinking too far ahead. I don't know if she wants to harm Kristen. I don't think she wants to harm Kristen. I think that and also she definitely doesn't want her granddaughters harmed so she made that pretty clear and she even says i didn't i don't want to harm kristen that's not her goal but andy was is an obstacle and he was she she's, hasn't liked him forever so they've been building like ever since <clears throat> andy appeared they've been building this whatever tension between them mm-hmm. this like mini war um... John W. says, do you think he told the truth or, or did Kristen or, or did he deceive them to give Kristen a clue? Um, possibly. Andy might have been smart in this in this scene in this scene. Uh, I, for one, that's what I would have done. I have a duress word for my friends whenever I'm in a place that I'm not comfortable in. I have a, a word that I give them that is word for extraction immediately (laughs) thankfully i've never had to use it though oh that's good yes um so uh also uh vera said uh yeah i thought it might have been a doll (laughs) don't wake the doll up yeah it could have been you never know with cheryl (laughs) and she was not at john w said she was nodding her 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 head she was who cheryl was nodding her head uh yeah i think so when leland left the room uh before it panned over to andy's head uh she did signal to him and he nodded his head she nodded her head so i wonder what that was all about then so maybe he did pretend maybe they're setting up leland Maybe I don't know. Um, do we think that she had a plan with Andy off camera that we didn't see? No. No, I don't think that. No? Okay. All right. We don't think that, folks. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that. But we don't know. Cheryl's a little bit confusing. We still don't know what her motivation is half the time. I think she just wants to be feel good and independent and have a purpose. I think she was kind of lost and without a purpose before all this came along. And it seems like now she's kind of a badass. Uh, and Cheryl, honestly, uh, I don't even think I don't even think yeah. the writers know her purpose yet. I hope they do because like I want to know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, me too. Well, I hope they have something planned, like some more reveals happening. But uh, Kegaru said Cheryl is wicked, not as wicked as Leland, but she has a bad influence on the girls and she's only getting more corrupt by the day. Um, And then Vera said, but Cheryl has to know Leland is trying to make Lexi poison her mom and do other bad things. Oh, I don't know if she knows about that. Because remember, she threatened Leland to cut off his manhood if he came near his grand, her grandkids. Yes, I remember that. Yeah, um, I, I don't know where the limit is for her. Yeah, it's unclear. I hope we find out. I like to find out the whole everything that's going on with those because that's was in last season with the jars and the infusions i'd like to that to be explained a little bit but something tells me we're exactly. gonna finish the season without knowing <laughs> without finding out that information 
Uh, and as you recall, last week I, when I was having this live stream with your husband, and thank you all for joining for those who did. Uh, we had an amazing time, but we missed Larice. We really did. So it's gl- good to have you back. Uh, yes, it's me. good to be uh, back. Yes. Um, but last week we also mentioned that we believed that they were going to leave us hanging uh, on a cliffhanger by the end of the season due to the shorter season. And plus, they like to screw with us really, really, yep. really hard before. Yeah. They absolutely do. I agree. Mm-hmm. I think that's... I'd like them to wrap up a few things and then maybe have more questions. But maybe answer mm-hmm. some questions. Like, give us a little bit. Throw us a little bone, a little bone to nibble on, answer a few, explain a few things, and then have something open up a whole new can of worms. That's what I'd like. Like, if we can get some resolution on a few things. They are getting a season four. We do know it's confirmed now, so um, they shouldn't leave us hanging on some of the stuff because when this was filmed, they didn't know they were getting a fourth season. Yeah, I've noticed a lot of shows do that sometimes. They automatically assume, and then you never, it leaves on a cliffhanger, and then they cancel it, and you're like, no! <laughs> you're just like yeah. always wondering, what, how did it end? But already, uh, uh, Kaguru says, uh, but he already did mess with Lexi at school more than once, and Cheryl did jack shat. Well, she that was when she gave him that warning, mm-hmm. when he did... When she, when she found out that he went to the school, that's when she said, "I'll cut off your, you know, uh, twig I'll and cut berries. Off your appendage, Maybe just your twig, not your berries, but just your twig." <laughs> oh no, I I think that if you did that, you'd have to take the whole thing. Oh okay, well, okay. So you know, I'll cut off your your twig and berries. She said that at the party, <laughs> a party they they were having yeah. with the the guy that the cannibal. That was going to be eating the guy at the buffet, the naked guy at the buffet. So we have this next scene. Uh, they actually go to Vid VidTap, and this girl's very enthusiastic. Uh, oh, she gives she ben is, she, a big I hug. I know why she's uh, enthusiastic because she's sweet on Ben. I think so too. I, Chris yes. is giving him a hard time about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She likes herself some Ben, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's cute. She's crushing on him. Mm-hmm. Program okay. love, you know. Well, so one thing she mentions and she, she points out is that these algorithms are actually tailored to your likes. So they really they're very 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 targeted because if you click on something or hover on something and you hesitate let's say you you don't like what you saw so you get a thumbs down but you still watch the whole thing they might show it to you again or show something similar because the whole idea is to keep you on the app so even if you watch something that you don't like it might show you something similar Mm -hmm. because you watched Uh, it it doesn't matter whether you liked it or not you watched it Yes, I totally agree with you. And uh, I have to tell you this really quick, quick, quick story uh, where that kind of happened to me on Facebook, uh, where uh, one of my acquaintances, not one of my friends, definitely not a friend. He's a monster. uh, He was singing at his uh, church and um, he has a very bad singing voice. And I click the, uh, the anger emoji with the cursing mouth. Uh, and I uh, gave him a thumbs down or whatever, and oh my God. it kept recommending his videos. And so oh after no! a while, I just said, uh, "Yes, yes, yes." And so after a while, I just told, him, "Please stop singing. No more country music. Please don't do it." I had this thing on. I don't know if you have noticed on Twitter. Sometimes they suggest topics for you. That is the most mm-hmm. annoying thing. And no matter how many times I click, no, I don't want to see that. They keep showing it. Mm-hmm. Like there was something that came up that was wrestling related <laughs> on Twitter. And I was like, why am mm-hmm. I seeing this? It was like suggested topic. I'm like, what? And it's like guys in tights 
and it's like all these pictures of like wrestling and they were in like these ridiculous outfits and nothing against wrestling but it was it was ridiculous and I, I clicked not interested and then like five minutes later I got like someone like that and I was like what the heck so I was like, no, I click no more, not interested again. It kept coming up. It's like I took the time. I didn't even open it. Maybe because I opened the picture. I was like, what is this? Oh, this guy's got like leopard skin tight pants on and, you know, full bulge going on there and like ridiculous. Uh. Yes. And I was like, what? This guy looked, you know, it looked like the wrestler, like Mickey Roy from the wrestler. And I'm like, what? Why am I seeing this? So like, all right. So I don't know why I just kept coming up and coming up. Finally, like I, I took screenshots and I posted on Twitter and I tagged Twitter and I was like, "Can you please stop showing me this?" And people that follow me were just dying. They thought it was, that was one of my funnier, one of my, one of my funnier posts because it was so ridiculous. Do they actually do they actually look at stuff that you tag them in, or do they just ignore it? I don't think they do. I mean, they probably get tagged like a zillion times per minute, so I don't think they have enough staff to even keep up with that but um yeah that was uh, but I, I also on tiktok yeah i can confirm and youtube i can confirm mm -hmm. i get suggested videos that i don't want to watch because um i have a youtube red account which is like you don't have to watch any ads and you have to be signed in as me to <laughs> to watch the videos and mm -hmm. walt watches all these like star wars reviews and like superhero reviews and all like very specific reviews to like his shows right well mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they come up on my feed because he watches it through my account because he doesn't have to pay for the ad or he doesn't have to sit through the ads he can watch them without watching mm -hmm. any ads or anything so he'll watch it through my account and i'm just like oh why am i getting suggested all these videos for star wars because <laughs> not, not that i mind star wars but i'm like uh okay well so that's 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 what happens yeah and another uh, and another thing, uh, another example, uh, real quick, is I, I recently bought my new computer. We'll be here tomorrow. And right after I hit the buy button, I was getting all these YouTube review oh. videos for the Mac that I bought. Oh. Okay. Yeah, you'll get that. So I had I a, like, another oh friend. Uh, for some reason, I don't know, we were talking about frozen dinners in our private chat on Twitter. And mm -hmm. I don't know how I was like, I specifically said I liked one specific Lean Cuisine. <laughs> Lean Cuisine. It was like, uh, oh no, it was a smart ones. It was like the, I think it was like rigatoni. It actually doesn't taste horrible. And mm -hmm. my friend started getting Lean Cuisine ads all over her Twitter after that. I was like, what? It was in a private chat. She's like, I can't just do the Lean Cuisines. It was like every fucking oh lean cuisine. And I was like, she meant she did the same thing. She took a picture of it. She posted. She's like, enough, enough of my my lean cuisine. <laughs> so it was like, yeah, there's so many incidents, but yeah, when, when she's pretty much confirming. We have a comment from uh, Kagu Review. Uh, she's crushing on Ben, similar to how Justin was smitten <laughs> with with that abusive mom, <laughs> pretending that she was possessed. <laughs> <laughs> Vera says she reminds her of uh, Vanessa. Yeah, she actually does. He, he seems to like the nerd girls, the cute nerd girls. I was so. not. I was not smitten with the abusive psychotic mom. <laughs> okay, maybe maybe oh, a little bit until she was little maybe bit. a little bit into yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Until we found out she was psycho, you know. No, yeah, she's she's just bat crap crazy absolutely crazy and completely starved for clout and attention <clears throat> yeah 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 i thought uh, that was ben yeah. ben is definitely gonna go for this chick though i mean i am i'm you ready think? for it yes yes because vanessa vanessa's gone man they're never gonna bring her back again she's gone they're gonna leave it open-ended which is the worst thing ever and they're never gonna tell us uh what happened yeah, she's and, in another uh, region yes. or in the astral. She's somewhere. She's somewhere between worlds. We don't know where Vanessa but is. We, but we need to know what happened with that. But Ben seems like he wants to move on and get with this programmer chick. But you know what? Programmer chicks need love too. Come on, come on, Ben. Like, what are you All doing? Right. Come on. Smitten kitten. 
<laughs> oh my <laughs> god, Vera, come on now. <laughs> but she actually she does like him because she gets she tells him she's been watching all of his activity. She's been monitoring his activity. She knows all about him arguing with and debunking all of the conspiracy theorists. And she's says, like, Don't oh, Ben. Yeah, he's she like, says, what? Oh, Ben, I've been monitoring all your online activity in our app, and you've well, been a very naughty boy. <laughs> yes, and she knows. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> this is going down in the gutter tonight. This whole show is in the gutter. We had to pull it back out. We had a certain way. Between the hair dryer and this. And everything I blame the hair dryer person. Um, <laughs> it's a freaking hair dryer. You're killing COVID with the hair dryer. It looks completely, completely not phallic whatsoever. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> So uh, John W. said someone in my household started watching new content on YouTube and under her account, not now on my account. And that content started being suggested, <laughs> I guess, because of the same. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. They're doing that. That's dumb. It's not even under your account. It should be under, you know, I don't know. But they have these files in their app, I guess. Now this is good to know because... How many outtakes can you record when you're doing a TikTok before you trim it down? Because I'll do several times. I'll, I'll say something a few times in a few different ways. Kind of like, these pretzels are making me thirsty. These pretzels are making me thirsty. Like I'll say it a few different ways and I'll edit it down. But I'll edit it in the app. And now I'm wondering, do they have all of my horrible outtakes? Because they're bad. Like They're nothing like this. But they're yeah. unfortunately, they're going to get me in the app saying the same phrase like maybe two or three different ways i didn't know they did um this. and this really set off alarm bells for me right here not because she's monitoring ben's activity and knows what he's been doing but because you know they kept <clears throat> they kept the outtakes from the mom and didn't call the police like what are you doing you no know? I wonder if there's a liability or some some type of I don't know if they're allowed to do them because well, she's not supposed to even share this this file with Ben, but she knows exactly that he's investig who he's investigating. And she knows well, that actually, Yeah, the abuse well, is happening. Sorry to interrupt sorry. Oh no, go ahead. Sorry to interrupt you, Larice. Oh no, go ahead. Okay, it was just delayed on my end. Yeah. Uh so section two thirty, um prevents social media companies from being liable for what their users do. So they could hand this stuff over to law enforcement without any sort of blowback. But Ben said when, when they went to the house to confront the crazy lady, um, he said, we have out, we have out. So I wonder, is this a uh, woman who is sweet on Ben going to get fired because they're going to find out who, who leaked that stuff. And it's going to go right back to her. It's possible. Yeah, it's possible. I mean, it, it really comes down. I think this the woman is probably a little bit too just out there and, and has her mind on other things. Like ch too focused on chasing cloud or whatever is going on in her head that she might not even think about that aspect of it. <clears throat> Get the... Get those kids out, get them out of there, but you put them in good homes, get them out away from yeah. that psychotic woman. Yeah. I'm looking at these names. Some of them are weird. Psycho Seven, Hickster. One of them is um Other Win 666. Other Women 666. It has a lot of creepy names I noticed on here. Creep creepy users yeah. on there. Oh, they have them. They have they have my outtakes. Great. <laughs> <laughs> but to be yeah. fair to you, Luis, they can only keep them for a certain amount of time. Yeah, well, they send this to her, and obviously, Kristen and Ben and David, they open up these files, and they're horrified by what they see. It's actually the mom. It's another moment where it's a human responsible for this whole hoax. Like, we have a lot of these episodes this season where there's hoaxes. Hi, and the cat. The cat's here making noise. Um, she's head bumping, head butting the table now. 
Yeah. So oh, we we went all the way back. We went oh, back. Sorry. On. It's okay. Sorry. It happens. It it's happens. I'm blaming the cat. I'm bla I am 100% blaming the cat. Yeah. So these files, they have them, they had them all out there and yeah, I don't know why they wouldn't have alerted authorities. This this woman is literally harming physically abusing her child children. I don't know. Yeah, I mean like when when there was that that man who murdered the elderly man on Facebook Live a few years ago, Facebook immediately took it down and told the authorities. Well, That's, yeah. Yeah, and so why didn't that happen here? Even though the outtakes weren't live, why didn't they do their job and call law enforcement and say, look, this lady is abusing her children? Yeah, that's pretty messed up. I mean, ultimately, she's making she's keeping people on the app. As sinister as it sounds, if she's keeping them on the app and nobody knows about this, then they can say they didn't notice. They could say, oh, oh uh, you know what? I mean, bottom line is, like, I think earlier when they were in the car, I think Ben said it. It's all about, it's like the American way. It's about fear or violence and sex. So that's what keeps people interested. I mean, yes. Uh, like, have you have you seen that show, The Client List? No, I haven't. Oh, it's about a um, a massage therapist that turns prostitute, um, and uh, this is kind of like that, where everybody's obsessed with the cakes when she gets busted for doing what she does. Yeah. And oh, okay. The only reason that they're obsessed is because it has to do with sex. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that makes okay. I I have heard a little bit about it, but I, I have not watched it. But I think I've heard a little bit to that effect, a little bit about the plot. But um, uh, yeah, is it good? Should I watch it? It's good. Yeah, it's on Tubi. Oh, it's on Tubi. Oh, it's free. Okay. Yeah, I'll watch it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll check it out. Um. Yeah, it's it's pretty good. They had a movie uh, before the series, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought, yeah. It's yeah. Also, I thought was the, a movie, the movie wasn't the the movie wasn't as good though because it had bad acting in it. Oh, that sucks. Well, I'll have, do I have to watch the movie first? No, no. Okay, then I won't watch. I won't bother with the movie if that's how, <laughs> if the movie's that <laughs> bad. But the show's pretty good. Yes, it is. This show's good. And we have a comment from John says, I think this season is showing more the realistic demons of our world. Social media based, mental illness, etc. I agree. Yeah, that's exactly what they're doing. Yes, yes. <clears throat> and um, in this next scene, I was really horrified by what she was trying to do. She was trying to live stream her yes. killing our three protagonists here, our three, uh, are, did I use the right word, protagonists? Yeah, tr protagonists, yes. Okay, all right, that works. Our three protagonists, I just had to make sure. Uh, and so, thankfully, David acted quickly, uh, being the stronger one. Sorry, Ben, you're, you're not as strong as David. I'm sorry to break it to you. Um, but he basically saved Kristen's life here and saved Ben, so he's a hero. Well, I wonder... Because she didn't go for the scissors right away. I wonder if she like, this is my last hurrah. So I'm going to act possessed. And it was all, because she argues it, she, it was all an act. But she didn't mm -hmm. want it, them to think it was an act. So she started acting possessed. She said, well, this none of this is true. She denied any of it. She said, if that's the case, if I really did that, that means I'm possessed. And then if she had just said that without turning on her phone and started streaming, that could have been kind of an argument saying, okay, well, maybe I was possessed when I did that. All right. Well, okay. <clears throat> let's say you're possessed when you did that. But then she turned on the <clears throat> phone and then put this whole like clown show on of pretending to be possessed. And then <clears throat> as a last resort, 
I don't know, grabbed the scissors and went, I don't know if she planned the scissors right away. I think she just became more and more desperate, kind of spiraled down. Um, well, in the court of public, uh, in the court of public opinion, demonic position would work, but uh, fortunately, uh, the courts of America do not recognize the doctrine of possession. So, uh, and that ha- that has been tested in the Supreme Court and in lower federal courts before, and they have re- unanimously rejected uh, said ridiculous argument. So she would not uh, have succeeded. Uh, but I really believe that she is not only a danger to just all children, but um, to society in general with her behavior. And I do think that there are people like her out there that just need to go away. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. I remember that you're right because that was the whole that was the last conjuring movie. Uh, the devil made me yes. do it. They t- it was based on a true story of a um, man that said he was possessed, and he actually went to trial for it. And you're right, exactly. There was a court. They they did not. They don't accept demonic possession as an argument for murder yeah. or yeah for committing any crimes. They don't recognize that. Um, at the same time, I feel like she's doing this again. I don't know if she realized like she was actually going intended to actually stab them or just came at them as like a desperate last resort to because oh. right afterwards it showed all the hearts and it got lots of likes because of course this is raising up the drama. It look it's she's blowing up because she's showing I mean an act of violence. Ultimately these platforms, if this starts happening and they do pull your video, as you said, um Yes. I'm I'm looking at some of these books and I was wondering if there were any clues or hints in there. Mm-hmm. I do see something. I see a book um, called Prime Evil. Uh what is Drive that, when I when I The Wild uh Rainy Night or whatever that is. And Lupe Wong won't dance. I don't. I don't know any of these, but I mean, <laughs> Prime Evil, obviously. <laughs> but, I don't know. You know. I feel like they were um, strategically placed there for a reason. Who knows? Everything. Okay, that's what our audience needs to know about the show because you, you know you join us every week. You probably know this already, and we love you uh, for joining us every week. Um, please come back again next week. But anyway, so everything in this in the show and their other shows, which I do recommend you watch their other shows because they're just immaculate in everything they do. Um, but everything has a purpose. Every single element has a purpose. And even if they drop one element or more, some el- some of those dropped elements bleed through the other seasons of the show so you still see things that they meant to abandon brought up later yeah that's good to know because we have a lot of answer- unanswered questions and now we only have four episodes left they better give us a lot like i better be jumping out of my seat over there uh yeah. when i'm watching the show yeah look at all the hearts she got from that that was her one last hurrah because she was her the jig was up. And I mean, if she if she if she hurt David, like David is my favorite character next to Kristen. If she hurt David, then I would be out for blood. Well, thankfully she didn't. But Leland is busted. Monsignor oh, okay. is. Uh, you said you really liked this. Someone said they really was it you or them? Uh, some one of these guys. Who said they really uh, liked it? Was it was one of these guys. Yeah, one of these guys. Uh, which one of you said it? I think it was Kaiju. I, I said Kaiju. I'm sorry. That was the demon <laughs> from a movie I watched the other night. Sorry, guys. <laughs> that's a movie? Wait, that's a movie? Uh, okay. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a demon. Uh, that's a monster from the movie Pacific Rim that I watched oh. the other night. Oh, okay. That's the Kraken? Uh yes, it's kind of a Kraken movie. Okay, that's the Kraken. Okay. 
Uh, and and John W says, I hope you review Outcast about demonic possession someday. I bought season one, but have not watched it yet. I have not heard of that. Me neither. I'm curious, though. Mm-hmm. I'm going to look it up right after we wrap up. I'll look it up. Mm-hmm. And he also said it was Munchausen syndrome by proxy with social media approach. Okay. That fits. Oh, wow. Okay. Yes. Yes, it does. Thank you, John W. Um, but in, in this scene, this was my favorite because I wonder if the girls sent this to the Archdiocese or no, uh, the Monsignor. I'm sorry. I get these uh, positions mixed up. Poor Leland. Oh, you'll be sorry. He threatens him. He's like that. Yes, he does. But you know what? I am not worried about him at all. He's perfectly safe. Because Leland is Jake Perry. And Jake Perry is a weakling, pathetic, little, feckless B-word. Yeah. He's like, oh, I lost. He's very angry. Completely unhinged. He starts, like, knocking over tables. He's, yeah. He, like, knocks over his own table. Mm Mm-hmm. Uh, and I was like laughing. Says, What's wrong? <laughs> and he says, "I think it's time for three, um, four little, four or three little girls. Uh, how many girls oh, does four, she have? Four girls to four become girls. four orphans. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. And um, there, I don't think there's anything threatening about Leland. Like he's the least threatening guy that that we know of in the show, but." <laughs> the reason why he's the reason why he's a good villain is not because he's good at doing bad things. He's good at convincing others to do bad things for him. Oh, that's even more dangerous. Yeah. Because then you, you skirt because... out of your own response any type of blame, consequences, or responsibilities if you have your foot soldiers mm-hmm. doing it for you. Yep. Um and but they often don't, just, they often falter, right? They often just don't pan out for him. Well, that whiny uh, little skinny white dude from the first season shot himself in the throat yep. before he could carry out the shooting, and thank goodness he did. Yeah. Um, and uh, because he just wanted to go, you know, just kill a bunch of women, I guess. And thankfully... He didn't know how to use a gun, and Leland is just incompetent <laughs> when it comes to picking. <laughs> yes, and Leland that was is awesome. just incompetent when it comes to picking people. And he had the same reaction. He was like kicking things and throwing things over when that happened because his little protege mm. was completely incompetent. I just love how Cheryl's just chilling. She's like, "What's wrong?" <laughs> he's like four four little girls do come for Laura and then we see all of them getting notifications now guys this is what you do you don't just you don't need to just put your phone away I mean putting your phone away is good in general because it's not just TikTok it's every app right it's Facebook it's TikTok it's YouTube it's Twitter Instagram whatever you're on like they are all guilty of what they're calling out in this episode mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. if if it's really um, if this specifically is blowing up your phone, then just uninstall the damn app because that one is that one seems like more annoying than the others. But sorry, go ahead. What were you you're trying to say? Uh, I was gonna say that um, this was me. This was me trying to get away from Bumble uh, about a, almost a year ago. Not even a year ago. Uh, one of the dating apps where you like swipe left uh, if you don't like somebody and swipe right. It's kind of like Tinder. Oh. Uh, but it's actually like for dating. And so like this was me trying to ignore it because I like had so many bad experiences on it with uh, be, you know, being stood up by different women and stuff like that. And so I was like, okay, I'm going to put away my phone. I'm going to not look at it. And I'm going to turn off notifications for the app. And before I could do it, I got a message and I had to look at it. <laughs> oh, it's so hard. They make it addictive. They do uh, that on purpose. Yes. yes. Uh, I guess, as Vera would say, 
uh, I was a smitten kitten. Uh, <laughs> you know, I was getting all this attention, I guess. So. Mm. Yeah, I don't, I don't, those dating apps, I don't know anything about them, but um, from what I've heard, it's, it's disastrous from a lot. Of, although yes, some people is. have had luck finding I, people, you know. It sounds like it's I more headache it. than anything else. Yes, it is. I've been, I've been, I did it twice. This was my second time. Uh, this time I signed up for multiple apps and just awful. Uh, but you don't have to worry about that anymore because you've been married for almost 25 years now. So, yeah. Um, yes. Now we have Kristen here. Sorry, love you, mom. The, they actually wrote that. I thought that was nice. And then she starts, they have eight new videos just for you, FYP. She's like, no. So she oh puts God. her phone, puts her phone in the drawer. It's like, no, just uninstall the app. Uninstall it. Un you don't need to worry about it. Don't put it in the drawer. <laughs> <laughs> it make any sense. David, too, he also says, ah, all three of them realize that it's probably not a healthy thing for them. Um, Vera said, uh, I would like a day in the life of Leland episode. Yes, that would be cool. I would be interested in that. And, uh, well, oh, someone oh even know. better. Even better, uh, Vera, I would like a day in the life of Jake Perry, how he became Leland. Ah, an origin story. <clears throat> yes, give it to me. <laughs> All right, if anyone from Evil is watching, we want to see that. <laughs> Although I would hate uh, I would hate the de aging makeup on on Leland's character. They just put like maybe old take old episodes of Lost. Be like, well, this is him. <laughs> was was he on Lost? Yeah, yeah. Oh uh, wow! Yeah, I'm never gonna watch guy. that. It's a very similar character on Lost. Very oh, similar wow. character. Okay. I think I think uh, his lost <clears throat> character is actually a little better, a little better than this character. Not a little, not as bad. He's he was pretty bad, but um, yeah, th th this character's worse. <laughs> Jake look, at, the look at Cheryl. Look at Cheryl taking care of Andy, trimming his nails, making sure those cuticles look nice. <laughs> I mean, they're going to murder cool. you anyway. So what's it matter? No, they're not. They don't plan on murdering him. They plan on keeping him there forever. But they're going to okay, tell. So he, Kristen's going to get a call. So he, that an avalanche happened. And the, the rich guy, Edward, is going to give them $800,000 plus an extra $250,000. So he can rot in the, in, the, in the refrigerator for all I care. That's but, worse but than death. If it, well, yes, it is. But if it were me, I would do anything that I could do to get back to my family. Anything at all. I don't care what it is. I don't care how heinous an act it had to be. I would get back to my wife, get back to my kids, and protect them against these crazy people. Well, unfortunately... Oh, good night, Vera. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, we are wrapping up. Yes. <clears throat> that is... Oh, what a trigger warning for Justin. Oh, this, uh, what, the dating sites? <laughs> Sorry. I got distracted oh. by that. <laughs> So, yes. Um, yes, thank you for joining us. We're this thing, the thing is, they have injected it with something that paralyzes him, so he mm -hmm. can kind of move, yeah. but not really. Are they mm -hmm. cleaning up his poop and pee because that and how is he eating? There's a whole other thing there. I don't want to know, actually. We don't need to see all that, uh, but I mean, you could just give him <laughs> what, what is it to like stop you up to make sure that you don't take a poop. <laughs> I mean, they could uh, just have some dead yeah. Oh, yeah, but eventually it's going to come out no matter what. Oh, that's to stop mm -hmm. diarrhea, not to stop from pooping. Um, uh, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. I mean, they could put something on his butt so nothing comes out, but then he would have died eventually because you need to get rid of your waste. Larice, I, no, I don't, don't want to picture something. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for the visual. Uh, what's going to happen? I think that they're setting him up to be... See, as long as he's alive and in there, he's not going to be dead. So, Justin, there's always going to be a chance he's going to come back. No, no, no. Unless they kill uh, no. him. 
The only they way, yeah, they could him. kill him and, and take his blood and put it in a jar and eventually dump it all over Leland and give him the blood bath that he got last season. They could do that. From <clears throat> from the two women from the airport, as yeah. one would say. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And he doesn't have any, I did not see any other bodies in there. So it's just him right now. So I'm just wondering where they're getting their supply from. Although there are plenty of jars. So they seem to have ample supply of that, the stuff they need to give themselves infusions. Mm. But uh, the evil puppet master, <laughs> John hopes they turn him into the evil puppet master. <laughs> oh, oh, turn him into evil, turn him evil or puppet master him. Oh, they're going to oh, flip him. Have you ever, have you ever seen French? I know Walt has seen it. Have you seen it? I so I tried watching like the first episode and it just reminded me of X Files, but it wasn't X Files, so I got angry and stopped watching. <laughs> I was okay. like, this it's, is X Files or not X Files. I got so upset. I was like, no, I can't watch this. <laughs> it's it's a really good show, but um but there was this one episode where this uh funeral director guy uh he fell in love with this um he fell in love with a woman he had saw seen on the street and he found out that she had killed herself. And so what he did is he, and her body parts got donated to other people. So what he did was he went out, found those other people, uh, gave them a paralytic and stole back the organs that were taken from her body. Oh, wow. And then he, got her corpse back and put all the organs back together and sewed them back in, put them back on, however you want to say. Well, he Frankensteined you know. her. Yeah, he Frankensteined her. And that would be really creepy if they did that here. So in the second X-Files movie, there is a plot that's kind of like that. There is a... Wow. Yeah, it's kind of similar. There's a, the second movie, there's a guy that's trying to make like a for his dying lover, I think, trying to get mm -hmm. different parts to, uh, and including their brain and stuff to resurrect his, his lover. Ew. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty creepy. It's actually, I didn't like that second movie. Cause it was like, it was kind of like a mediocre, mediocre X-Files episode. It was like a standalone mediocre episode. <laughs> I was like, wow. We watched a whole movie for that. We could have just watched an episode. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Uh, yeah. yeah. I am. Um, I found. Ooh, okay. I was. I was trying to see how many seasons of X Files there were on Hulu. They've got all eleven seasons there. So when Cheryl shuts the door, today is the first day of the rest of your life. I wonder what <laughs> that means. It see, means that you're going to die. Think no, that makes me think that maybe he's going to be rescued. I think the girls are Kristen. The thing is, Jake Leland, Jake the Flake from State Farm, he's sloppy. Okay. And because he's sloppy, he just ends up having a lot of really bad mistakes and tells. And the thing is, Kristen is smart, and so are the girls. I feel like they're kind of setting it up for a rescue. Okay, but well, we'll like, see if you're I right. Could be, I could be wrong. I desperately don't want you to be correct, but uh, on the but, other hand, I kind of want you to be correct because I want you to. I want them to show us how he's going to get rescued. Yeah. Well, I didn't see this coming. I didn't think he would be in Leland's little creepy room. Let's call it Leland's creepy room. Like he's in Leland's creepy room with the jars and where he keeps all his people, his dead people, where they keep their victims. And there weren't any other victims at the moment. But thank goodness. I was not expecting that. I thought when I first saw the the last video that she tried to zoom in when he was on a loop and didn't seem to be actually responding to her seem to have like like mm -hmm. a blanket of generic responses i thought oh no he's got some weird loop going on and <clears throat> and they've already killed him but that did not see this coming mm -mm, mm -mm. i didn't think he was um, being in this pantry creepy pantry room see what i what i thought would have been cool is that when um 
Leland and Cheryl were over him with the dropper of water, I thought it would have been neat for him to like let out a tear down his cheek. I was expecting know? that. Yes. Yeah. I thought that was mm -hmm. going to happen. Uh, because it'd be like, you know, you've taken me hostage and you I don't, my family is clearly in danger and you got my wife's mom in cahoots with these guys. And I, I would, you know, I'd be terrified if, if my, if that were my, um, my wife's mom was trying to kill me to get to my, to my family. Yeah. I, I wonder if, like I said, they're, they're sloppy sometimes. It seems like mm -hmm. Cheryl sometimes has to clean up Leland's messes too. Cause Leland is just, he becomes unhinged and he becomes sloppy. Mm -hmm. I think that the, if he ends up getting rescued, if they do find out about him, it's going to be a hundred percent Leland's fault. It's not going to be Cheryl's fault. I think it'll be because of something Leland does. Cause Leland. Overplays oh, Cheryl, his will, Cheryl will escape at the last minute when everything is down. She'll run out and, and nobody will ever know that she was involved. Well, but, Andy will know. <laughs> but yes, how would how would she explain that? You know, because he would say, "Yo, your uh, your B word of a mother had me in a refrigerator for weeks on end, and you thought I was in the Himalayas or whatever the hell, uh, wherever the hell he is. Uh, so we need to call the police and have her arrested, please." <laughs> she could also just say he was. He's lost his mind. I can't believe you believe anything he says. He, he's no good for you. He lost his mind. He's been on too many trips, spent too many nights alone in, in, the, in <clears throat> the, the mountains, and he's gone crazy. Yeah. She's a very good liar. So, uh, uh, well, can you said, Yes. Oh, I want Krista to realize how militia her mother is uh, somewhere down, down the line. Well, you know, the girls, the girls know because when they brought up grandma, when they mentioned, they said they wanted to kill Leland. They said, Oh, let's, let's talk to grandma. They're like, Ugh. they, they might know. Might have a clue. Unless they turn Andy I... into a Yes, they could lobotomize him. Yes, they could do that. I mean, this show, when it was on a network, it was extremely limited. But now that it's on a streaming service, it, they have more power, more strength to do what they wish to, to do, what they want to do. But let's be honest, this is actually still kind of like a network TV show because even though they can say the F word and the C word, um, they still are limited by, you know, the time constraints and yeah. the taking breaks and all that stuff. So really it's like, and they drop one a week. They drop one a week. And the only streaming service that doesn't do that is Netflix, okay? <laughs> yeah. That I could see happening. I'm very curious to see if they're going to show us more because – they have a, the tendency to hit on something and do a big reveal, and then the next episode, <clears throat> completely not talk about that reveal, or maybe not mm -hmm. until the very end. I really hope yeah. we dive into this a little bit more in the next episode. We see what's happening with Andy. We get yeah. we get more because they could just completely gloss over it. And you're like, what happened to Andy? <laughs> like they did with the Pillar of Salt. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> uh, we could get an Andy backstory in the next episode where we they will show us how oh. he was taken and how yeah. he was tricked into yeah. So That'd that be could good. be coming. Like... So yeah. Oh, I'd like oh, to yeah. see that. Yeah, I want to see that. Mm -hmm. I I just when I couldn't believe I just feel like every moment in this episode was either entertaining. Um or just suspenseful or dramatic mm -hmm. or amusing. I don't feel like there was ever a moment that was slow. 
every moment. With no. Us. And then it got more and more intense. No, as you said before we started the stream, uh, there was nothing that I would consider milk toast uh, because there hasn't been a milk toast episode. This Yay, season. no milk toast. <laughs> it's and not like the zombie it. one. No. The Z for zombie. That was awful. <laughs> and I, I got to say, as we were told in the comments of the YouTube channel that you have and that we are streaming on here now, uh, that it was one of the worst reviews we'd ever done. <laughs> but you know, we all, <laughs> but we only work with what they give us, you know. We, well, don't, we tried, we, we tried. Yeah, oh. we did. We couldn't get excited about it. It was really hard to get excited about that episode. This one was like, oh, this is creepy. There was so much when, r relatable. There was so when much we first relatable. Started the, when, when we first started the, the stream on that one on Z for Zombie, I remember. Being like, hey, and you said, hey, so what do you like about this episode? And you were like, not much. And I'm like, yes, I'm here. <laughs> what is there to talk about? Well, there aren't any zombies. There's a freaking pop up book in the closet. There's neighbors <laughs> that we didn't even, we neighbors that we didn't know about. Evil Amazon. I forgot the name of the company now. It was like, uh, it was, I um, it was like um let's see like like oh congo like, run congo run yeah congo run yeah that was oh man that was whew, congo run yeah that was the amazon yeah there's so much more they could have done with that like we we really needed real zombies come on tease us with fake zombies i mean it would it would get to be kind of stupid because like all the zombie stuff just seems to be overdone, you know? And yeah, that's the same with the vampire stuff. Yeah. I mean, so if if you include this show into the genre of vampires and and zombies, it would kind of get uh, bogged down. It would just be all muddy and, and junk. Right. Well, I think if they did that, it would, it would just be a one-off episode. But the way they're shaping this season is that the monsters like um like like we said before the monsters are actually humans and we're showing the hu the human mm -hmm. monsters these mm -hmm. these are the monsters it's actually humans not demonic entities that are that are possessing humans it's actually humans like every other monster <clears throat> mhm mm one of our wonderful viewers says y'all probably jinxed it now we'll get a Milk toast episode now. Hello. No, uh, no, we did not think said we do not have that power. Mm -hmm. We do not yield it over the universe. But, no, I said oh, don't yield put that out wheel. there. Yield <laughs> it. We yield. Yeah, you yield. Like wait. No. We yield. yield. Like yeah, we yield. hold your horses. <laughs> Game of Thrones. I yield. I yield. Don't, don't, don't I yield back. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, um, that you know, that was our uh, our review for the sixth episode, and yes. we, uh, yeah, and we're very excited to have you here, and I'm very excited to have Larice, um, to be our wonderful host, and I'm so excited for Thank her to you. let me co-host with her for a third season, and uh, I'm very grateful to be doing this with her, and I just want her to know that, and I want you to know that I love Aww. you guys as an audience. Yes. Uh, this is the highlight of my week to come to talk to you. Ditto. Guys. Ditto. Yes. And thank you guys for tuning in and watching us. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to add. I don't think so. I think we pretty much covered everything. Um, we were going to go. It's We're running like over. Two, well, how long? We're running at 233. We're going to go over my videos that I took when I went to visit the house. I have another one I'm going to upload. I uploaded one. If you look on my channel, there's a short video. And bring back Walt. <laughs> Thanks. I tried to get him. I tried to get him tonight, but the problem is, uh, he had we had a show today. He did do improv, and he watched the show as soon as he got home because I watched it earlier. And I said, "Hey, come mm -hmm. on, join us, join us, join us." And he was like, "I can't. I'm about to fall asleep." And I was like, "What are you gonna do?" I had a really he had a really busy week this week, but maybe we can get him to come next week. Next this week, this okay, coming week, the last week get a busy week. But next week, he, uh, he might be he might be not as tired, but he was he he did he did great. We we both did great and we missed you and everything. 
and he was he was just he was wonderful with his enthusiasm oh and he did, i'm so yeah, thankful was, that he yes. was here because i was like oh i'm gonna throw up if i if i, if <laughs> I come in i'm gonna be like hey guys Bleh. i was not feeling well <laughs> and it's because i had i had a tooth i had a tooth then i had to go get a. I got my root canal it's all taken care of but that like and then the medicine i had to take for it made me groggy and sick to my stomach so i was like between the toothache and being sick to my stomach i was like sunday i was like oh no i was like well you have to jump in for me because i don't think i can do this i can't just sit there for two hours i'm gonna throw up <laughs> i wouldn't need, i wouldn't need the fake vomit you would see the real thing I should have filmed myself you know groggy <laughs> set up a little little live stream by my bed for tiktok hi guys i'm possessed <laughs> i'm possessed yeah. <laughs> i mean i might have looked that way i was like i just at that point i came in i was like because I'll like Walt, you know, he goes off on these tangents way off topic about other shows. It's like just stay, go back to the show because <laughs> he watches so and much other I, stuff. I thought that at one point you expected me to like rein him in, um, no. but I was having too I was having too much fun with him, so I just like oh kept yeah, going, but, yeah. Well, but I no, you I got... you can't really rein him in. You can't, especially if he talks so much. It's impossible. <laughs> But before so, yeah. I before my before my signal dropped out uh, last week, I heard you say, "Okay, get back to evil," and then twenty dropped out. He went way off. I don't know what he was. You already you went really deep into some other show. I forgot what it was. <laughs> but he was like, <laughs> I forgot, "Maybe it was Star Wars." I can't remember. Could have been Star, Star Trek. Trek. Star Trek. Oh yeah, yes. you both watch Star Trek, which is here mm -hmm. on the Paramount Network. Yeah, we're we're part of it. Mm -hmm. uh, well, we're gonna well we're gonna wrap up uh, the live stream now, guys, because you're probably getting yes. tired. And uh, yes, so we thank you again for joining us. Yes. And we hope you come I, back with us next week. Am I? I'll be uploading my my short. Well, if you go on my channel, you you can find the short of me actually going to the house. But I have another one I'm gonna upload of actually going under the bridge that the train goes Ooh. over and you can see where it actually says hellgate and i actually have a video of the train going by so you can hear what it really sounds like it doesn't quite sound like it does on the show and i'm gonna upload that i'll upload that tomorrow but if you but keep an eye out for it it's like a short video but yeah it's pretty cool it's pretty cool down there so look out for that and uh yeah Love we it. will see you guys next week thank you guys for watching make sure you if you're not subscribed already subscribe like share this video and uh you know i'm sorry we can't bring you any haunted possession but you know we're just being ourselves so we can't we can't <laughs> oh, what was that what was that i mean i think there's a ghost in my house i can ha i can spasm and and you can guys guys help this. me help me help <laughs> <laughs> oh, our views didn't go up darn all right guys <laughs> 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 good night Good night, guys. Good night. Right, good night, guys. <laughs>